boys. Here we're finally yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, it's like I can breathe. Thank you, God. Out. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? What's going on? It's been a while. Three weeks what since our up? last episode. Too what are we old. even on? Episode what? Six? Are we on episode six? six? I think so. Yeah. Six. Six. The great six. Jack. <laughs> How we doing, Jack? Good, good. Palm trees and sunshine, sunshine and palm trees. That's Just all chilling it is, right huh? Here, on, chilling? Yeah. Yo, that's like COVID never even fucking happened, man. Well, that's California for you. It's great. Just just think happy. Yeah. Safe places, <laughs> safe spaces. We're all happy here. Drink many fluids. Drink, yeah, drink a lot of fluids. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's super chill out here until you get behind the wheel. I mean, the then governor was our own fucking... Oh, I just, I just found out that... Uh, I mean, not that I just found out. I mean, I only been there a couple of times, but I heard the traffic out there is almost city traffic here. It's retarded, it's and horrible. I mean that. It's retarded. And you guys got like five lanes on each side of the highway. Yeah, yeah, but don't. Yeah, there there's no excuse. Highway? Say that again. <laughs> isn't there only one highway? Uh, what happened? No, there's a bunch of highways, man. There's a. Uh, what are the it's, highways it's like, called over there? Like, like Sunflower Highway. No. Unicorn Driveway. No. The 15, the 219, the fucking. Oh, okay. All right, Mike. How we doing, Mike? Doing you good, look good. Doing, you look lit. Look, doing good, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's how's everything going? How was your vacation? It's good, man. Just good? finished up a nice barbecue. Yeah. What did you eat? My nice. belly's full. It's full. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, nice. I had some of that too. Smiles, smiles, cool. man. Vic, what about you? <coughs> What's Sorry. going on? The Jameson, <laughs> the Jameson is getting to me. Everything's good. <laughs> everything's Same good. Hole. How was your uh, vacation? We've been off for three weeks. Yeah, it's been good. Day to day. Day by Taking day. Taking it, day by day. Day by day. By day by day. <laughs> by day by day. Tomorrow's another day. Today's a day. Yep. Well, day where day. was that from yeah. again? What, uh, what movie? Who am I? I think that was from Billy Madison, right? Yeah. Wait, no. Was it Billy or was it something with Adam Sandler, right? Oh, no. oh I just watched his new movie. Which one? Diamonds or something? Yeah. Interesting. Like diamonds. Uh, good movie. By day by day. By day. <laughs> I don't know where that's from. What about you? What have you been up to? Huh? Uh, I was actually gonna scream at you guys because I always say what's up to you, how's everything, and I never get a, I never get a how you doing, motherfucker. And yet, and yet, um, it was good. I, this uh, time you can't. Since Memorial Day weekend, I, I visited the Hamptons. We went out right. there. Actually, I had a funny story. It was uh paying mm-hmm. it paying it forward. Uh, on our way back from the Hamptons, we were heading back uh, home, and we had to stop and get Starbucks. You know. Cause you know the missus wanted some Starbucks. I wanted some Starbucks for the hour drive. Um, we're in line. It's about thirty cars deep. It's moving. It's moving the line. Um, you know we order our drinks. I got some. Uh, I don't know. It's like a an iced tea thing. It tastes like iced tea and lemon. It's like a half and half. By it's the like way, a refreshing drink. By the way, that was Ben mm-hmm. Stiller from uh, Meet the oh, Fockers. Meet the Fockers. Yeah, day by day. By day by day. By day by day. Milks uh, cats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I ordered my fucking thing. It only came out to like $8 and like 16 cents. So I get to the cashier. The cashier goes, hey, sir, uh, by the way, the car in front of you paid for you. And I was like, oh, really? I said, all right, well, I'll pay it forward. Here's my card. And she goes, well, the people behind you have a hefty order. I'm like, all right, can I just throw like 10 or $15 towards the order? She goes, no, we can't do that. It's either you pay it all or um, I'm like, all right, I'm good. So I, I, I broke the chain. And I was proud of that. Uh-huh. I broke the pay. The <laughs> so, you, so you actually didn't pay it forward. No, I didn't. You pay just it got forward. paid. I just forward. got. I got paid forward. There's <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a smart lad. Yeah. Oh, this whole time right I'm there. expecting I saved eight dollars. Like the good yeah. guy in the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. And, <laughs> and, hey, just like anything in life, when it's free, it always tastes or feels better. No, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. That's true. <laughs> I you got to break I, bad I, I habits, and that laugh, was definitely bro. a good one to I definitely break. definitely missed your laugh. Oh. Oh, Jock, I miss man. you, Jock. When are you, you going to fly you back too, to, the, wanna... to the rotten apple? When are you going to fly back? The, <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, look, I broke I broke a chain fucking mid-COVID. I'm flying in airplanes, bro. Yeah, good there you go. You broke a chain. <laughs> good for you. Well, then, well, then you, you don't want to be stuck in a hotel again. <laughs> well, I gave up on COVID. I go out and I do yeah, things. You just give up. I yeah. think I think COVID's full of shit. 
I think it's bullshit. Numbers, I it, like I said, it killed my grandma. I can't really say it's full of shit. Oh, well, we don't know. I mean, you listen, it was around the time your grandmother died. All right. Yeah. Was it from COVID 100%? I doubt it. I just no. think the, I just think they get paid a little more money. Yeah. No, no, no. She was she was full of cancer. No, it was. Yeah, she she's, had. Believe me, it, dude, it was she, probably a merciful COVID killing. Exactly. <laughs> it was probably merciful. Yeah, no, exactly. I was trying to get at somewhere. I kind of lost train of thought. Sorry, no, but sorry. like uh, like I said, men uh, like Jay Z has said, men lie, women lie, numbers don't, and the flu is by far the worst, way worse than COVID. And I think I Spanish flu is one of the highest at uh, that and AIDS, HIV, yeah, too high. We're, we're scared about COVID. Like but that's this. over the course of and you wearing years. that mask all day. I mean, no, I'm, I, you're breathing in and out. You're affecting your own lungs if you right. do have some type of. Fucking, That's the worst. Yeah, get out, get out, enjoy life. If you die, you die. You know what? You you enjoyed. Yeah. Just now got, it's just another obstacle to getting ahead, though. That's the reason wait, I'm pretty get in ahead, giggity, now, giggity, or yeah. get in ahead. <laughs> huh? Get in ahead or get in head? Getting ahead. Now it's another obstacle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like you said, over there in Cali, nothing's really changed, right? No, bro, nothing. Oh. I mean, every once in a while, you get a fucking. You know, you see people wearing masks all, you know, but that's it. Mm. The stores never closed. Everything's still pretty much open. They just did delivery for a couple of weeks, heavy, you know, and mm. now everybody's back to going into the restaurants, onto the beach. Yeah, well, I went to the city in, in during the middle of this, and there was about 500 Grubhub delivery people in front of Shake Shack. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, believe yeah, it. It was yeah. crazy. It was, it was actually hilarious. Yeah, even Chipotle got <laughs> yeah. a long line. All those uh, good um, restaurants definitely have a long line. Jock, a, a, a lot of man buns undone? You're- no, I don't know. I've been inside. I'm. I stay. I stay at home, far away from everyone. You're not trying to go want- a man bun. You have a man bun? <laughs> no, you're bald, right? Are you? Oh yeah. Take your hat. Oh yeah. Bald. I got the hat collection and everything. I'm bald. Oh, by the way, a lot of by people. Choice? A lot of people been getting yeah. back to me. They they want pictures to these voices. They need they faces do. to these voices. Right. So we're gonna have we're gonna yeah. work on that. If you're listening, we'll definitely work on right. that. We gotta create an intro, yeah, yeah. like a '90s movie intro. What do you mean? Like a full house intro. Have you ever seen full house or uh, like what's all holding Steve hands and staring at each other? Da, 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 da. It's a rare condition. <laughs> this day, and then you see us that walking around. That looks like around. a fucking uh, a purge, a purge family. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking ha- that's happy. But speaking of restaurants, but they don't even have intros anymore. What was that? Ninety two. When that I show came out, I don't know. I, I don't know. Right. Fucking, fucking, I know it was a good old genius days, over here. But now they have was, like fifty second intros, not even, and it's just like words. Yeah, Netflix just lets you skip right to the fucking entree. Bro. Yeah, nobody they watches they give them. You the appetizer. Yeah. I like to watch it at least once, <laughs> but it's definitely builds up anticipation. Listen, it's I'd like, pay ooh, to go Steve back Urkel. in those days. Wait, 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 hold on. You guys hear that? That's a fucking beer oh, right man, there, boy. I tell you what, shit that shit down, boy. Netflix lets yeah, you skip yeah. the foreplay, bro. It just goes right to the action. They don't <laughs> give you that skip. But real quick, we talked. You said something about restaurants. Have any of you gone out to a restaurant since the whole COVID's been? Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you? I went. Yeah, I went absolutely. last week for the first time since what March fourteenth. All this shit happened. Yeah, it's not too bad. You got to wear a mask while you're waiting to be seated. Everything's through reservation so far. So you wear a mask, you get seated, you could take the mask off. But if you get up at any point in time, you need to put the mask back on. The waiters, waitresses, yeah. the how hosts. Close, how close are you sitting next to people? Every table was, I think they were more than six feet. Every table yeah. was like almost 10 feet apart. So it's less capacity? Less. It's a little less capacity. Um, I think in that particular restaurant, they only allowed four per table, but it was just me and my girl. Um, some restaurants are allowing 10, but there's one, there's, there's a place, I forgot the name of it. It's in Connecticut. And if I wish I had the name, it might be like, I don't want to, I don't want to, it's like Fort 14 or something like that. They want to charge you $40 per person to make a reservation plus the bill. Bill? Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, Hey, listen, buddy, I'm trying to get you out of debt. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help your yeah, business. Yeah, I'm trying to help your Why business I, yeah. out. Now you want to charge me $40 for like me and her, let's just say 80 plus another 250 bill plus Is it- is it like you sure they don't take it off of the? Uh, are you sure they don't just take it off of the bill? Some places do no. that though. Oh, that's a good point. No, they don't take it off the bill. 
But some places, how do you know you're going to spend $40? Though? What if you yeah. go there for one night? Now, $1, if it makes sense, okay, they could be you like, spend a minimum of $40. Yeah, well, the thing would be like, hey, listen, guys, um, we're going to charge you 40 each per person. If you go over, that's fine. We'll take the difference out. Uh, if not, then, you know, it's $40 a that minimum. That makes sense. I guess they don't want people coming in. No, I get you know, it. They but want then people again, to make it's sure Connecticut. It's eat. not like you're going to the fucking. Well, think about all the. So I'm, a, you know, I love to go out to restaurants. There's a lot of places oh, where you're bumping elbows with with people next to you. Mm-hmm. Like there's this really good French restaurant in the city that I go to is like that. How are they going to do it? You, you know, the city has more French restaurants than France. I believe fact. it. It's a fun fact. It's true. Well, there's a McDonald's in every corner. I love McDonald's, man. McDonald's. McDonald's is like that's like my heroin to a heroin addict. <laughs> McDonald's, what is it though? What exactly? What I just like the life? fries and the nuggets. Oh, Big and, Mac is the best. No, the Big Mac is the best. And the cheeseburgers, the way they chop those onions, or the fucking McDouble with the Mac sauce. Yeah. Uh, no, but when you wash it down with that Coca Cola, oh, there's something about yeah, it. Yeah. The Coca Cola, yeah, yeah. McDonald's, something, something McDonald's Coca Cola. I don't know what they do. Or it's just the you know the fake meat that were the tidbits. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, don't, I, I really don't care. Some people in this world eat ass. <laughs> Fake meat ain't going to fucking turn me off. Yeah. Got that laugh. <laughs> What's good over there? Oh, that was fucking funny. <laughs> um, Mike, anything? What do you got? What do you got better for the group? How How's the list? I mean, you've been, you've been in the house for three months, like an old... Italian grandma, you haven't yeah. left. No, no, over here. What do you got? You got a cane you keep in your back pocket? Nah, you walk nah, up nah. and down the fucking driveway? Dude, I've just been taking day by day. By day, day by day. Day by day, day, by, day. <laughs> day, by day. I'm enjoying this. Um, I'm to be honest. trying to buy yeah, a house, man. Say what? Hold Dude, on. I'm, I'm not complaining. Yeah, like like uh, Vic said. I enjoy Dude, it. I'm, I'm enjoying I get to play video games all hey, day. Some people it's... on unemployment are making more money, money than people yeah. working. The thing that hits me is to get back to work, back to you know reality, back to the same routine. That's but gonna then again, suck. on the other side, no. But I- I'm thinking about it. I'm like, dude, I got this. When when I get back, I'm going for it. Everything's gonna be great. But then again, yeah, sitting at home. No, I think it's like so when you go to the <laughs> gym. It's, when you it's, go to the it's gym, not so it's not bad. so bad. It's not so bad. You know, I just barbecued. It's what not gonna you, be easy when we go back. Yeah. You know, when you go to the gym, you start off, it sucks. Yeah, you get into at the end of it. The you're, gym like, is, you're, you're like a, you know, you're like Superman. You yeah, take off yeah. six months. You got to start it all over again. I think it's gonna take yeah, all but of muscle that memory, time. right? And it's I think it's gonna memory. take. You know how when you start a new job, the day flies by. It's you know you get tired. It's a lot of work to build up to that momentum. The thing is, I've been I've been at the place that I'm working at for nine years. Yeah, it's fine that I took a six months break. Whatever. Yeah, it's only been four it's, months. It, well, think, it's right? gonna. You should take a week's vacation. March, April, before. May, it's June. Leaning, <laughs> yeah, for me, it's uh, September first, probably right. I'm You're on going back path, September first. Yeah. I'm no, probably no, no. gonna try not to go back in the office. <clears throat> There's yeah. no reason I have to go to a physical office. There you go. Do it at home. Don't be lazy though. Oh, I'm not lazy. I mean, I work. I'm more productive at home. I'll you know have meetings, blah blah blah. Six o'clock at night, I'm sitting there. I, I can log back in and do something. If I leave, I leave. Little, little, yeah, little a lot quick, of that. What little, else are you doing? I have two screens. One of them has an Xbox. The other one has my work. <laughs> little quick shushata. There you go. <laughs> Jack, what were you talking about? Something about the house? Yeah, no, I, I figured I heard your out house how to make hunting. a really bad situation into a really fucking awesome situation. Oh, yeah. Explain this. Yeah, yeah. So, hold on. Are we talking about your uh, yuppie roommates that just squatters? Nah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk shit. But uh, what I am going to say is that the bad situation led to uh we're looking now for a house plus in the middle of this covid shit Mm -hmm. there's a lot of people selling there's a lot of people buying the market's hot and it also like gave me some perspective on like how i want my house to be because once upon a time i was like well i could just live in a little apartment you know from new york city like i don't need all this space yeah but you got a wife i can't even imagine bro having still been in in an apartment bro just locked up like a goddamn prisoner for fucking for six months no Mm -hmm. so now i'm looking for property and I'm looking at beautiful, gorgeous houses, man, just space that I never thought I wanted. But now it's like, yeah, I want more Aren't space. Aren't you looking at something pool. on the golf course? That looked beautiful. Like to wake oh. up to that every day and see old wrinkly bulls hitting some fucking, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it no, did look no, beautiful. No, that was though. ridiculous. It looked, it looked relaxing. You know what I mean? It yeah. did look relaxing. It's How's vac- that? It was are a you, vacation. Are you still looking into that or are you are looking into the other one? I know you sent me, I no. think, two pictures. The, the one that I showed you guys, uh, the one that I showed you guys, people are out here buying these houses cash, bro. Like, they got money out here. 
They're just dropping a cat, and I'm and I'm well, over here with my money, right? like, yeah, yeah. Could somebody please? You know I want to buy your house. Valley? Baby, baby, you bring American money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a prostitute for real. Come here, baby. I give you good massage. Massage, massage. <laughs> Yeah. $20? Yo, oh, $40, $40, $40, $40. Yeah. No, I'll give so you 25 I'm cash. looking for a yard I can throw a frisbee, a pool, we can chill, a little hibachi table that I can cook. Like, oh, man, you remember Lance's dad? Yeah, yeah. Howie. Howie. Howie, right? You remember Howie? How he had the backyard oh. set up. It was a paradise, you, bro. It was fucking... You were in Queens, but when you went into this guy's backyard, you were in, like, fucking Costa Rica. Miami. Or Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Miami. <laughs> I want to say Costa Rica. Yeah, Lance, yeah Lance. in the middle of the city. You're in Miami, the last and time- that's what I want to live in. Like nothing crazy, but just yeah. a nice, a nice escape, bro. Like somewhere you could just chill. You want to have people over. You don't have to go do crazy shit. You just enjoy where you live. That's that's the beauty of like I, I I'm glad COVID happened in a way because now people could see now there's less people. Yeah, asshole. Not only that, <laughs> uh, that's the least of my worries. <laughs> but not only that, it's. Now you understand what it is to stay home. You save more yeah. money. You build uh, something in the back. You know what I mean? Yeah, I built up Bro. my yard. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yep. Yeah, okay. Exactly. No, no. Yeah, I'm the I don't really right go out, though. I'm not a big <laughs> ah, Stay at home. Party. Stay at home. Don't go outside. It's a bad. It's true, though. And it's expensive. Really? Save the money. Yeah. Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I set up the nice, uh, well, my fiance did it, but I set up the nice yard. Yeah. At the table. I have, a, I have a friend that I work with. Uh, his kids were over in Texas visiting some family. And while they were over in Texas, he built a, a little pool thing, he said. It was like you blow it up. It's like you climb it. You slide down the pool. He put a trampoline. He built a swing set. He goes, and he goes, it's hard to find shit now because everybody's fucking, they're yeah. trying to buy everything to keep their kids active in the backyard. So he had to drive all the way to Jersey to go pick up shit. It's, I was going to build a table. I couldn't find wood. I always Can't wanted a trampoline. Can't find wood? No. Nope. Oh, man. Wood is out there. I need to see Alice. <laughs> <laughs> what is there, my friend? I used to work with wood. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No. Not not, not in that way, California boy. <laughs> There's so much things you could do with wood, man. I know. Wood, you can do wood, wood building and craftsmanship, it's an art. Wood is expensive. Oh, yeah, it, it is. It depends what you Hardwood get. It's fucking expensive. expensive. Walnut gets expensive. Oh, yeah. $13 like a so I, went, I went to look at, uh, I was going to get like a pine type wood for the table. No, that's, yeah. That's, it's like five, six dollars a foot. You know, you you know, it comes out to like $200. And my guy can go just buy a pre-made table for 100 so There you go. Money. Ikea, Amazon. It's hard to find though. <clears throat> it is. Nah, I don't know. I, I picked up a little bit of woodwork. And bro, I, I mean, now that I'm retired, I'm just looking for new stuff An to do every to week. to get out of your house. I'm picking up, bro. I'm making fresh. I'm making fresh pasta almost every night. Yeah, yeah. I make gravioli too. Yeah. You gotta get the, the hey. KitchenAid machine. Wait, oh yeah, the KitchenAid wait machine. Wait until your real uh, Italian uh, background comes in. You're gonna start planting every fucking vegetable there is. That's what I'm saying. I just gotta. I, I, I'm just gotta my, I just gotta yeah. plant. Oh, did you? Yeah, I got. If time. you go to Stop and Shop, I went to Stop and Shop to go shopping. They actually give you. They have a, a section where you pick up the free seeds. I got this from your garden. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, my dad he does all that gardening shit. Italian arugula. Yeah, my fiance started, so, so I'm gonna help her. Uh, she has a green thumb. There you go. It's very nice. Whatever keeps people busy, man. Um, so yeah, I how's, mean, you know, how's the family, Jack? Everyone good? Your wife is good? Everybody's good. How's well, the kids? okay. So tensions are high because you know the hot the houses. We're trying to figure out like prices and all this other stuff. So right now yeah. we're we're focusing on that. The kids, you know. Oh. Five, just and take two, it, they're, you know, they're day, day, by day by day, by day by day, by day by day. God bless, Jock. I can't, I don't know if I can do that right now, bro. And full time school is coming up. Ooh, it's gonna be rough. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm in I'm summer in- classes. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I haven't gone to school since 2006. I've been going to school since 1995. Really, <laughs> I don't know when I started. But I know old, where so I ended. That shows you how bad that is. The last yeah. time yeah. was 2010 for me. Yeah, 2010. That's it. So four years after me. But you got your diploma. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I had a different route. Different route. Listen, I'm doing good. I can't complain. Hey. Your degree you know who in? else is doing good? What's your degree in, Mike? 
Hey, all you need is high school, a big dick, and a, a mind, <laughs> and you're pretty good. But, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, you know who's doing good? The guy that does the, sang lang- the sign language on uh, Anthony Como's press. That guy. Yeah. Is real good. He, he, he now can work every day. He can work every day? <laughs> who's that? I, I have no idea what his name is, but every time that bastard uh, Anthony, is it Anthony or Andrew? It's Andrew. Andrew Cuomo. Doesn't matter. They're both Andrew, they're, they're Andrew, both Andrew idiots. Cuomo. If there's an Anthony Cuomo, you're a fucking idiot too. <laughs> there was one, I think. Yeah, Wasn't sure. there a big sex scandal around that guy? Probably. Oh, that's another Anthony discussion. Weiner. Anthony Weiner. That was Weiner. Weiner. That guy came to my, uh, I want to say junior high or no, it was uh, elementary school. What what happens when you graduate fifth grade? What are you in elementary? Yeah. Yeah, he came there and he said a little speech and then he goes, Well, oh, my name is Anthony Weiner and all fucking three hundred <laughs> of us were fucking cracking up <laughs> in his face. That's probably why he, he went into crazy. You know how many times he had to do that speech? Where was I getting at? Oh yeah, the sign language guy. It's 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 not a little <laughs> distracting to you a little bit? I, I don't get the shows that you guys get. I don't watch Cuomo. Well, whatever. <laughs> they don't have a interpreter, sign language interpreter while the guy's speaking for the people that can't um hear. Yeah, yeah. No, they're ridiculous. I've seen a couple of them on the news because they're actually getting called out for being like over the top ridiculous. Mm-hmm. People are fucking trolling on them hard. Yeah, but yeah. you have closed captions. Why do they still do that? <laughs> they don't do it for the news. Do the subtitles. They should do it for everything. The the news, I mean, then they you're assuming the that deaf people are all going to know how to read, and that's kind of messed up. Okay. That must be hard to learn. <laughs> I could have sworn I could have sworn that guy was doing the Macarena at one point. Yeah, but he just wait, said wait. fuck fuck what this guy is saying. I want to I want to go back to the You call me a jerk off, motherfucker. Wait, wait, Giacomo. <laughs> How can somebody learn sign language if they can't read? That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But it is distracting. <laughs> all right, I feel all right. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, like if you oh, try one of those shows, watch the show with the sign language guy, put it on mute. It's almost like as like it was me back in the day. Like when I used to be a class count, I would make fun of the teacher. Wait, wait, but that's possible, right, Jack Mo, because Helen Keller did something. She was blind then. Hey, she was a genius. All right. Did she? Thank God did they can't she? hear this. Can't like write a book? I'm so glad they can't hear this conversation. <laughs> no, so, there's no conspiracy theory behind so it. So hipster in Williamsburg is going to be mad we did that segment. It's fine. Get over it. Build a bridge. That's how my life's been. Yeah, building lots of bridges or just burning them down as you go. Oh, uh, I build them, them, cross them, and then burn them. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Why look? I'd forget something on the other side. I'd have to go back. What do you mean? I built a bridge and then crossed it, burned it. Yeah, I probably would have to go back. I, I rebuilt a couple bridges. And I went back just to slap a couple people, and I crossed over and I burned it again. <laughs> Listen, you can't burn those bridges. Why not? You can't no, burn for work you can't. But friends, come on. If they're your real friends, you that know what true. I mean. That is true. Doesn't have to be around. Asaluta. Asaluta. Cheers. Uh, so what's this house coming with? <clears throat> I seen uh, one of the houses you showed me had a nice pool, nice backyard. It looked good. Yeah. No, it's not. This one doesn't come with a pool, but I'm going to get one uh, above ground only because kids. Above ground? And, uh, come on, man. Kids, you got man. more money I don't want than them. that. Your taxes huh? go up when it's under? Go uh, go on the ground, guy. Come on. Yeah, I, get I, the I, salt I water. Like get the salt. You got the money. Nah. Nah. You ever watch, nah, those, nah, you nah, ever watch that show, pool, the... pool Kings? Yeah. Yeah. That is one. I can, I can watch that show and... I'll be hypnotized. It'll be like four in yeah. the morning. I'll be like, oh, fuck, it's still going on. No, I got to keep that. That show is awesome. That bro. and the one where they used to build the fish tanks. Oh, yeah. Fish yeah, tank yeah. kings. Oh, yeah, I'd uh-huh. rather watch the fish tank. I think kings. they were from New York, too. It was just in uh, Vegas. It yeah, was they were having to be in Vegas, but, Vegas, they, but they, they were definitely yeah. born and raised in New York. 100%. You're going to get a fish tank, Jacmo? I actually have one right now. It's not anything fresh, crazy. Fresh it's water just, or it's salt? The right, it's just the right size. Huh? Fresh water or salt? I definitely want a salt water tank in my future house. Yeah. I want the little Mimos, yep. the clownfish, I, I think they're called. Those, awesome. I want the, what do you call that? The the, the horse something? The seahorse? Seahorse. I want you got to get the coral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real yeah. coral. These those things are expensive. Vacation, man. Yeah, you can't. Just, that's You're, the yeah. only reason why I would yeah. never no, want to. You got to get, you gotta get backup generators and stuff. It's yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, if you're going to do it, you got to do it right. Do it right the first time. You guys are talking about the glamour life. Glamour life, yeah, I know. Yeah. 
That's what happens when you got COVID. They'll, they'll you dream take big. The kids and the wife. You dream big. <laughs> it's on my vision board <laughs> to get Nemo. I'm gonna find them. Exactly. No, it's nice. I just I, I I want to not have to worry about anything like that when I go on vacation because I plan on doing that. Quite well, didn't a lot. you yeah. say your kids wanted like an animal or a pet, and you were like, "Yeah, we'll get a fish," yeah. and they love it. That's good. No, you I'm got gonna goldfish. Get, uh, I'm, I'm going to get a dog, and here in Cali, they got uh, free training for uh, for vets with PTSD. Yeah. So that's, yeah, three weeks, I get a trained dog. I get Ooh, myself trained to have dog? that dog, and I get a little, you know. I got a Havanese. I just got, I got him uh, two years ago now, three years. I have no idea what that looks like. It's a little dog. I'm allergic to dogs. Oh, so it's the the, the human hair one? What yeah, call it? yeah. Hyperallergenic. Oh, okay. Hyper yeah. You're allergic, I mean, I'm so allergic to dogs. To him. Yeah, I'm allergic to him too. Shit, my I got my but brother and his life. son are allergic to dogs, but they just got a dog recently. Yeah, getting a dog changed your life. Yeah, I for recommend. sure. Highly for recommend sure. it. You still can't go on vacations though. No, if it's a small. First of all, if it's a service dog, you definitely take. Oh it yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, but the uh, I, I want to get like a medium sized dog this time because I had a German Shepherd. Uh, and he was, it was hard, bro, to navigate my life around owning this dog was not easy. So, you know, a little, little life hack for anybody that wants big, a big dog. Don't fucking do it. Yeah. Uh, That's why I got a small one. Well, you know, the house, your dog is nice. I like the medium size too. Like, you know, like a little smaller, like, like a beagle or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like a beagle. I I like small dogs. My fiance has a pit bull. Yeah. Nah, man, I can't do that dog, but that dog, it's very weird because that dog acts like my small dog. Very, very like, yeah, yeah, very docile um, because they had two dogs at the time. So I think it picked up how to mm-hmm. act from the first one. But so, yeah, and I'll take care of that. I mean, the yard's like, I don't know, 7,000 feet. Got RV parking on the on the left side. Like, it, dude, it's nice, man. It's it's I mean, I'm from, I, you know, we're from New York City. So a house with a little bit of property is like, what are you, a fucking millionaire? But it's not the case over here. So I might as well enjoy as much as I can, you know? Yeah. And man, we, my fiance, we talk about moving out of state so much. Where you want to go? Carolinas, we look at it a lot. Yeah. I would love to. I, I would really, really love to get out of the city. It's ridiculously expensive. It's, you're yeah, killing yeah, you're you. paying for you I pay the, work. Pro- the amount of property pa- taxes that I pay, expenses. plus the income taxes that I pay, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, but it's like 33%. You work to live. It's 2% it's on your income. In no, it's 2 but in for the city, for the city, I don't know what it. Oh. It, it could be thirty three percent in total, but New York City charges you too, right? But I'm I'm looking at houses taxes, now, and where mm-hmm. I want to go, you're looking at taxes arranging between eleven to seventeen thousand. But a year. Queens aren't that far away oh, from that, though. I'm, I'm telling going, you, I'm getting out of. Queens. I'm just saying though, Queens is not that far. People no, are like, oh, the taxes are crazy. But listen, you move out of if you move out of the five boroughs for one, you save two percent on your taxes. Not only that, you're not going to get hit with meter maids. You're not going to get hit with those random tickets because you forgot to put a quarter in just because you were going to a fucking deli. You don't have speed traps really out, you know, yeah, out I mean, Island really. You don't have to listen to your Western. neighbors. You don't, don't got neighbors. Houses are not attached. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. You guys are talking about all this shit. Plus, I got Mountain View. I got fucking like all of that shit that you just said. No, no, no. Meter it's maids. California. I have a I have a beautiful like I could park like I got to worry about hanging the, the pictures, American flag you park out there. 10 yeah. cars. Just in the driveway, yeah. ten cars just in the driveway, two car garage, four bed plus two offices, a open concept kitchen. It's fucking gorgeous. Well, and I then you it. hang and an American flag the out price. there. They hate you. A lot of the houses in California, yeah, like mid century style. What like happened? a lot of the houses in California look like they were built in the sixties, seventies. They have that style. Are they ranch style too? Like yeah. there's one floor. They have, they have, no, no, no. There's two floors. I'm in a two floor right now. There, there's two floors. You there's guys just, have basements. Build. Huh? Is there a lot of basements out in Cali or no? Because I know no, Texas says none. rare basements. Yeah, the rock or the. What about the? Is there insurance for earthquakes? Yeah, it's, it's just it's expensive. Do you have to get it or for no? obvious reasons? No. Uh, is there some insurance places in California force you to get fire insurance though? Yeah, every house, yeah. every house has to get fire insurance in New York. You do uh, especially if, no. if you have a mortgage in New York, you have to. Huh. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? Like, it's not. But Why wouldn't you? Because yeah. let's say it's three hundred dollars, and there's no reason your house would ever burn down. Plus, you already have home insurance. Uh, Why have a separate insurance? Oh, uh, okay. So it's a, you're saying it's a separate policy? Yeah. Never say never. Look at Sandy. Yep. True. True. But <clears throat> people, a lot of people, benefit from that. 
Yeah, some people FEMA came through. They made some money. Actually, they made money. They got brand new houses built for them. Yeah, but that's a I can never imagine. Better, stronger, heavier fighter. That's why I I heard that that the houses never got done. There was still, I'm sure there was, you know, there was there was issues with people that didn't get fixed. But I know a lot of people that did. Beautiful. I don't know. I'm getting flashbacks to like the Clinton Cash movie where they were talking about how like a lot of people were supposed to. Oh no, that was that was the one in Haiti. Whatever the, oh, yeah. uh, the hurricane was in Haiti. Yeah. Tax Red Cross. I had yeah, a question. Yeah. Something about the Clinton campaign. I wanted to go over a topic. I don't wanna I don't wanna keep improving. Well, I mean we're gonna improv, but we're gonna improv on a story. So dreams. Anyone have like crazy realistic dreams recently or just in general? Dreams in life or dreams when I sleep? Dreams when you sleep. I had a, a wild one. Not really wild. Yeah. It was I was walking, right? It happened to be snowing. And there was a bunch of kids, like 18, 19-year-old kids. They were like, you know, having a snowball fight. So, you know me, my little 31-year-old ass. I know how it is to be a kid. So I'm like walking down the street and I'm like, hey, hey, guys, let me just get through. Let me get through. They're like, yeah, 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 go ahead. So as I'm walking through, one of the kids thought it was funny and fucking hit me with a fucking snowball. So I was like, oh, you motherfucker. So I grabbed Sounds the snowball. Like you when you were little. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely you. Definitely me. And I had yeah, it on definitely. and I had aim. <laughs> fucking yeah so like one of the kids hit me with a snowball we're gonna we're exchanging words and i'm not really come on the kid's 21 you know what i mean and his friend out of nowhere hits me with a fucking ice ball and i just fucking i got furious so i go and i grab him by the collar and i'm dragging him down as i'm dragging him down his girlfriend hits me with like a fucking chunk of ice so i fucking kick her right in the knee it just looked <laughs> like her knee fucking snaps back i grab her by the hand i drag it down and then all of a sudden, my friend uh, Bosco came, and he was like, eh, he was like helping me. And then all these little fucking idiots ran away. It was like a weird dream. I don't know why I dreamed that. That is weird. That is weird. I had none to like. I don't know. I hate. It's not I even hate, winter. I hate those dreams that you can't run. You can't run. <laughs> like like someone. I can't fucking, run in real life. Someone's yeah, fucking yeah, coming. <laughs> I can't run in real life. <laughs> someone's coming. Someone call those nightmares. Well, why don't you explain the dream you had? Uh, give, well, give, give me something. Jesus Add to the Christ, group over man. here. You've been silenced for the nah, last just four minutes. Nah, just fucking someone coming after you, and you're trying to run away. You, you can't, can't run. You just cannot. You run. never there, had a bad dream. You can look your. Yeah. You can look up your dream. Apparently, there's a meaning to this. Oh yeah, they, they have. Um, like if you get chased by a bird, apparently it means something. Yeah. Yeah. You ever had if any horror flying, dreams, Mike? You see yourself anything, your body. anything horror? Jack, you haven't had horror dreams. Any scary dreams? No, no, no. I had a dream. I had a dream of like an invasion. Invasion? Yeah. Scary? Yeah. But I was like, I was trying to like suit up. Like I was pissed off that I didn't have a gun. So I was trying to figure out how to get like a a gun to protect myself. (laughs) Like there was people riding, going crazy. There was like the the military, like the planes were flying all over. But I didn't really remember like what the context of the U.S. military. Yeah, I I guess. I don't don't know. Was it those goddamn kamikazes? (laughs) The Russians. It could be the Russians. Tom Cruise. What about Mike? You had any uh, scary dreams? Yeah. You definitely, come on, man. You feared Mike Myers for a little bit. You had some. Didn't you have sleep paralysis? Yeah, well. The music distracted you? Wow. What is sleep paralysis? Sleep par- you don't know what sleep paralysis is? No. It's basically when your your body is paralyzed, your eyes are awake, but you're still in a dream, but you think it's in real life or something like that. Oh, you had that? Uh, yeah, explain it. I know you had it. A few is that times. is that like a diagnosed it's, thing? It's mm, I yeah. think I, I've I've had it a f- couple times, maybe two or three times in my life. That is crazy. You actually train it's, yourself. It's to do sleep it. paralysis. Yeah, I think Wait, it's what I said. You can train yourself to do it's it. A paralysis. Yep. Paralysis. 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 Big cock. Cock. Same thing. <laughs> it's basically you can, you can yeah, train yourself it's, to it's do that. When, it's, uh, it's when you're fucking you're in sleep mode. But your fucking your eyes are open, your body's completely shut down, paralyzed. Uh, yeah, and you're just Heavy hell you're you're having your dream, like in effect, while your eyes are open. It's, it's but how like, do you know your eyes are open if you're sleeping? It's the weirdest. Oh, no, because you're, 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 you're trying, you're trying, you're trying to get trying to out of move. It. You're looking at. You're how do you know? But, but how body. do you know that's not a dream? It's not. It's not. Because I guess science. But when you're in dreams, though, you're in still first person, right? Yeah, I know. But you wake up and you snap out of it. I'm telling you, I've, I, I, I've had sleep paralysis where I'm I'm laying down. I wake up from the dream. I know I'm up because I'm looking around and I see like someone sleeping next to me. I'm up. I'm down. I'm looking. I just can't move my body. And then I feel like pressure on my throat. Okay. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with dreaming. 
It's just waking up and not being able to move. But, but you're, you're, sometimes, you're, your brain sometimes, is sometimes you're still, still in that your dream. dream. You're uh, still seeing your dream. It's some sick shit. Now that weird, we mention man. it, you might get it. As soon as you forget about sleep paralysis, I have I have a problem with dreaming though. Like I don't you know. Don't like, I don't sleep that much. I'm not a sleeper. No, I'm up until like three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, like all. The so time. what's average? Four, four, four and five, five, six five hours, hours maybe at most. That's not bad. But I can't do it. But it's still bad. My mind doesn't shut off, so it's, I'm always doing something. But when I feel mm-hmm. like when I sleep, it's like instant, and I'm waking back up like it's you know the next day. But I, in the morning, I'm a very, very, very. I have rough mornings. It takes me about an hour to like wake up. Yeah. Which I hate. Yeah. But once you're up, you're up. Yeah, but it's just like I feel like I'm you know, I have a ton of bricks tied to my body. Mm. Like, it just it just sucks. Sounds like a fetish. Yeah. No, you, just, <laughs> you gotta you gotta throw yourself into the shower. I just drink yeah. black tea. Is, yeah. You just gotta keep telling yourself. I just yourself. drink a shitload yeah. of black tea. Throw yourself into yeah, just, the shower I just get myself eight hours of sleep. I can't go to sleep though. <laughs> yeah. No, I know, I know. I'm just I can't I can't get less than eight. If I get less than eight, I promise you that next morning, someone's getting fucking yelled at. Do you have a routine? <laughs> Does everybody have a routine? When I wake up? Like what time you go to sleep and what time you wake up? Um, you know? Normally, yes, I have a routine. I usually go to bed, but I can't go to bed without... I ha- I play this game called Clash Royale. Yeah. So I got to play can. at least four or five matches before yeah. I go to bed. Then I go to bed, I wake up. I mean, there's always a routine. I like when the TV's on. I don't like to sleep when the TV's off. I don't like it too quiet. I need some really? type of distraction. Yeah. No. If I hear something outside, then I'll fucking go outside. I always have a book next to my bed. So I'll like that. If I really want to go to sleep. Read a book. I start to read a book and then I just knock out. But my fiance goes to sleep before me. So it's harder to do that. Yeah. And probably four out of five days I sleep on the couch. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm up. I'm just doing something and then I mm-hmm. fall asleep. It's, it's, it's not bad. the it's not the best for your health, but I no, smoke it's not. I smoke two cigarettes back to back, and that puts you and to then sleep? go to bed. I just fucking go to bed. Wow, I mean, it is a downer. So I miss you know, smoking. espresso. No, it's not. Espresso don't really stimulate. keep me up. I you know, can drink espresso more, and go to bed. Yeah. In, in there, ten minutes. If there's I want. There's more caffeine in in uh, coffee than there is in espresso. Is there? Yeah, espresso. Hmm. I should say espresso. But yeah, nicotine's a stimulant. Absolutely. Oh right, right. The stuff I do is a downer. Yeah, I can't do that. Forget <laughs> it. I, I, if I haven't smoked weed, I can never fall asleep. Right. How is it to smoke weed? I would think the world is ending. You guys, I am, I am a terrible smoker. Jack, we'll yeah. come to you last because I know you. You're everything out there is legal. I can't smoke. You can't smoke. I can't. I've you tried, tried it, it though. Multiple no? times. times. Yeah. As a teenager, as a as a in my twenties, <sighs> now as an adult, can't do it. So I gave it up, and it's fine. You know. You all right, Mike? Let me give you an example. The fucking, a bird, a bird is chirping. Yeah. On a regular day. Yeah, the bird is chirping, whatever. You don't really hear it. But when you smoke weed, you fucking hear that bird chirping. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is Dude, that weed though? Fucking, yeah, just, it, it opens up all your senses. Your yep. fucking brain opens up like a fucking book. Really? Yeah. I thought it would just make you dumb. No. It will, well, if you fucking no, abuse it, definitely it puts you in a zone. If you yeah, abuse no. it like a fucking no, moron, it yeah. definitely puts you in a zone. But I think yeah. everyone affect, it affects everyone differently. That's why it's yeah it's still legal. Not only does it affect everyone differently, but it also affects the same person differently at different stages of like how often do you, what strains do you? Well, that's like, a good, there's good point. So many different yeah. ways. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, because with the stuff that New York would you buy? You know, you're not buying it from a dispensary. You're buying it from... Um, I know. will give California one thing, because I've heard this numerous times on talk shows. You guys, when it comes to Bud and your Mary Jane, you guys have shit that New York well, couldn't even come yeah, near. Yeah, it's, it's commercialized, no. right? So Your yeah. worst shit is our top, top, top shelf shit. Yeah, but it is cheaper on the streets in New York. Don't Wait, ask me how I know. It's, it's cheaper in the streets than it is in the dispensary? <laughs> we won't... It's not that cheap in a dispensary. No, you're paying wow. for quality. That's interesting. I would think it's so. Be yeah, how much could you easily spend when you want? Like, if you wanted to go there and be like, "Hey, I, I want to be good for at least two weeks, so I don't have to keep coming out here." What, what are you? What are you spending? How much are you getting? Two weeks. Get two hundred, hundred bucks, hundred and fifty bucks for two weeks. Really? That see to me that doesn't sound because I spend one hundred fifty bucks, two hundred bucks on cigarettes a week. 
A week? Okay, so but wait, wait, check this out, right? So in New York, the weed is not as good, right? So you end up smoking more to get the same effect. So in what I'm trying to say is that the potency of what's out here Mm -hmm. is much better, much cleaner, much stronger than it is over there. But we just we happen to pay a premium for that. You know, we're we're not getting it in fucking Ziploc bags. You know what I'm saying? So if I if I went if I came to California and smoked weed, I'd die. Basically, you're saying no, 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 because like he would have, have to a, hit it once have... and see how huh? it goes for 15, 20 minutes and then continue. I have to put hit. that. All right. So I have to put that in the bucket list. I really want to experience that. I want to go to California, go to a store, walk out with weed in my pocket and not feel like a criminal doing it. I want to experience that. Yeah. That awesome. Must, that must and then be die. A- but you can't yeah. smoke in the streets, right? You need to be no, either in a private treat it like alcohol. But you can smoke treat in the it streets, like alcohol, here, can't exactly. You? Good. I smell I smell weed all the time in the streets now. Yeah, but I mean there's no there's nothing that says you can't Mike smoke left. in your house with the window open. I'm going to Cali. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I think my neighbors smoke. I always smell it. Yeah, that's probably it's, true. And in New York, do they have a uh, medical? They I think they do. I don't know. I, I, I don't, no, no. I don't, actually, there's no medical in New York. And if it is medical, it's not the leaf. It's either a pill. Um, See, I would do that. Liquid though. form. If, if I didn't have to smoke it, I would still do it. If yeah, I no, you this, definitely don't. Yeah, and and I, actually, it's probably I mean, I've better eaten. for you to try. I've, I've tried edibles. I've made them. Oh, yeah. Gummy bears. Oh, really? I tried. But jello. <laughs> but yeah. It was awesome. How do you make them? Like you Google you need, it? Betty Crocker? Go on YouTube. YouTube? There's, nothing, yeah. there's, there's nothing the internet does not know. You're right. Yeah. So I could probably so figure out how to you do guys surgery. Uh, an understanding <laughs> from Google of that. Well, you could figure out how to do surgery from uh, Extreme's cheapskate. Yeah. Those uh, people. There's nothing the internet doesn't know, and there's nothing the dark yeah. web doesn't know. That's true. Dark this web. is true. I say it's true, but it's just I only say that. Has everyone I've ever gone it. on the dark web? I've never actually been, so I don't fucking. I don't know even know sure. how, it's the scariest how thing to in the get world. on the dark. Web. You need to download <laughs> some things, and you oh, do I thought you just put darkweb.com. No, it's crazy. The dark web's crazy. I thought I was gonna go to jail just from like being on it. Not even I. I wasn't doing anything on it. I was just on it, and I would just. I just felt like I was breaking the law. Because really? that's <laughs> is it breaking it the law. It feels like it's criminal. Well, so they, you know, who created the internet? The military, the is Navy that? created the internet. Yeah, the Navy. Yeah, hmm. as a means for communication. Was that from being Jack? Was that maybe from being over like out in the seas for nine, nine months? I don't. I don't know this top classified shit that Victor knows. But they also create. I don't know. This top, <laughs> I, don't I just. Know. I don't know. I, know. I just look at weird, weird, weird shit. I'm a tech. I know how yeah, big yeah, Peter yeah. North is. I can tell you that. <laughs> Damn. Isn't that a porn star? Yeah. <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> oh, I what just want to relax over here. I mean, yeah, I would definitely, nice. uh, I would definitely that, come out to California. Is I that whiskey? To is that whiskey settling? I in? would do the vaping. I would definitely get that. <laughs> but I just, I would do this thing. Yeah, I have to be in a comfortable environment. I would get okay, two, so, two. So let me oh, just like put up onto tiers of like potency and what I think starters should do to like where I think a professional smoker would be. The first thing I would do is just so that you understand the numbers as to like what the percentages are. Start off with edibles that have the lowest percentage and then just experiment with the lowest percentage where you take three, you see how you feel. You take five, you see how you feel. They don't really do anything. They're like Advil. So I take CBD. Right? So I mean... That, that definitely does something. That shit is great. Right, so, CBD is great. If you ever want to quit smoking or if you're in a bad mood or you can't sleep, CBD just solves everything. It, it's very useful. I can't do it anything helps me fun. Pain. I, if it can, if, you know, for me, the biggest fear. I'm the fun police. The biggest fear for me is really, I don't want to get in trouble for smoking weed. CBD doesn't have any THC in it. It doesn't. Yeah, you're good. You could do that. Yeah. If you want. I know it's Listen, it's in the head. It's I in like bread. to eat. Man. Smoke a couple cigarettes here and there. Have my whiskey, my Manhattan. That's, I just think that's there's more. There's, there's more negative side. Effects I just can't wait alcohol. until fucking sports come back into I this wasn't, world. I wasn't mm. about it, but I tried yeah. it the other day, and it does fucking relax you. CBD and this, yeah, CBD is great. This fucking. I, that's why I'm I'm very envious of people who can smoke weed because alcohol oh, is, is a very CBD, messy thing. CBD, that's cool. <laughs> you can't. Uh, I, I can tell you. I can tell you as a as a avid. <laughs> Oh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Chaka. What is a CBD? So CBD? No, what's CBD? <laughs> How do I uh, buy it? 
Cone Oh, we're not playing? Oh, like, you're not, you're not going to go into roll right now? You shot? No, 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 no. All right. Sorry, <laughs> because me, I talk it, fucking it a little a hungu. Mood, you get all horny because you're hiding tie shit. You thought nah. I was some fucking sexy little <laughs> fucking anime? Sick My anime? Fuck. What are you talking about? I started speaking a little Chinese over here. And fucking... Did I? Yeah, you, oh, got, yeah. You, got, you got embarrassed or you got a little uh, shocked. A little bit. I think no, come out of left think, field. Uh, I think we were we were, we were in a yeah, mid CBD I come weed convo. I then play then. left field too for the Busan Bears. <laughs> uh, okay, right? <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll end it. I'll end it. I was just trying to, you know. <laughs> yeah, right there. What did you fucking laugh no, at? To get your teeth pulled this funny. morning. Sounded like a fucking duck. Why don't you stay getting... on your side of the couch there, guy? It sounds like a duck was getting choked out. That's what it is. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. A raspberry on my gooch. That's what that's about. Like. You're waking up the baby. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop. All right, all right. Come here. Sango me. Zongo. Forgive me. Jack, you remember when I used to rock you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so what else we got? That's a weird fucking picture in my head. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's yeah. rocking fucking Two Jack. bearded men rocking each other. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, that would be hilarious. But I'd pay to see that. I would Did I tell you I was uh, I almost, Jack, I almost shot Jack, a fucking commercial? Quick, do, you, do you sit down and pee or do you lift the toilet seat and stand up and pee? I lift the toilet seat. You never sit down? <laughs> No. I don't mind sitting down like if I wake up in the middle of a sleep. You know what I mean? Because you know you're going to make a mess. Just sit down. I know. Ne- oh, that's, I don't know. It's safe. I can't do it's it. It's safe and it's, it saves an argument. In I the think morning. I have too much of an ego to sit down and pee. Really? Yeah. yeah. Build a bridge, get Some, over it. Sometimes it's hard. You you wake up with a hard because on. Because they start you to sit down. And you wake pee. up with a hard on, that's the trick. You'll you fucking piss down, on your face if you. Well, you squat well, down. Well, I can't do that, face. though. No, no, Because no. then your fucking dick starts to no, hit no, the toilet. No, no, I know, but here's the trick. Here's the chlamydia. trick. For people that have big cocks, you squat you squat over it a little bit and kind of like hold Correct. the tip of the head. Correct. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah but wanna... you can't, I can't do that because then it'll hit the bowl. Yeah. Thank you. You got to bend I'll the knees. I'll be fish hook in the rim of the bowl, bro. Fuck that. Yeah, just squat and just hold your fucking, <laughs> hold your fucking cock right down there. And be on. No, take a shower. Fucking piss in the shower like a yeah. real man. Yeah, you can do that. It too. actually is more of that. There's a, there's a study around that, too. They teach that in college. What's the study around? It's, it's more efficient. To pee, pee in the to shower? Pee in the shower yeah. Why? It saves water. What the I fuck? believe it. No, someone, no, someone studied it. that. And it makes sense. I mean, regardless. You, you take a piss. How do you, you save water? Because... I'm still cleaning myself if I was to pee in the shower, so the same amount of water is coming down. No, because right? you're going to pee, right? Let's think about this. Well, yeah, you I wake pee, up in the morning, flush the you pee, you flush the toilet, you've already used eight gallons. Mm-hmm. As compared to just I using see. less than eight gallons and showering and peeing while you shower. You know, mm-hmm. washing your hair and just fucking letting it go. But when you pee Mind in the shower, blowing. do you? Is it a thing, or do you just let it let it rock and then? I just let it rock, and, and then I'm you just fucking, like picking up my the, hair exactly. At the same all right, time. You're, you're, you're I'm trying to mix the shampoo with the piss so it doesn't smell. Jack, you're pretty up there with age. Are you keeping WD forty? <laughs> Fuck you on the on the, on the side. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. You take Viagra. <laughs> when, when, when you get morning wood, do you keep the WD forty on the side to bend the knees? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keeps the keeps the joints limber. <laughs> Thirty. Hey. Come on, I'm 30, 31. You suck, on, man. Man. Nah, man. You're only thirty one. You're the man. You're the man. He's turning thirty two, though. No, he's not that old. Look at look at you. You're Beyonce's blooming. 30, well, you're 31, blooming. Yeah, she's thirty one. If you're under forty five, you're still good. She's thirty one. Yeah, I'm still good, man. I just, I just need to Shit. take care of some. Uh, some life choices over here with this uh, house and getting into shape, boy, and I'll be good. We're getting to the point where there's going to be more years behind us than ahead of us. That fucking sucks. What? Yeah, but oh, I mean, me they're out, also man. coming out with ways to keep you alive longer, so. I think I think we're going to be good. Eh, I don't know about that. I mean, if I'm going to. Uh-huh. Nah. If you had to put an age. Control. If you had to put an age on yourself. Come on. And I'll be probably die like 80. 80. You, you think about 80? 80. What about yeah. you, Mike? What do you mean? I don't want to be an no age until Murillo? Yeah, until you die. Until you die. Uh, let's say Remember, I'm you gonna, smoke. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to eighty seven. Eighty seven, you think? No. Yeah. My lifestyle God willing, alcohol God willing. is the f- alcohol and tobacco are the That's first not hundred percent true though. To kill you. I had this discussion. 
No, it's there's a lot of my food. friends and people who a lot of people I know. I know older people that died in their 90s, and all day, all they did was smoke. Because the and first, do shots. Wait, 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 the first 50 years they smoked, it was natural. Remember, we're talking about 19 fucking 40s to the yeah. 60s compared to today. Well, yeah. Forget all that. That's what no filter. Forget that though. If you stand two people next to each other, one who drinks every day and one who doesn't, one of them's going to look a lot younger than the other. <laughs> Shit. Cut, cut those things out then, bro. I wait. I still say 80? I said 80. I'm cool. He says that. 80. He goes 87. Jack. Wait, wait, 80 with those two things that you do? You yeah, don't, you don't smoke. With or, I smoke the jewel, which is probably worse because there's more okay. metals. But whatever. I'm cool with 80. 87? What's left after 80? Come on. I was gonna say you really 80, think you're going to make it 87? I was going to say 87 because you know why? I put good things in my body. I eat vegetables. I eat all that good shit. Yeah, but you also. An occasional dick. You'll also have about six, seven beers at one sitting, though. What, what, You'll have about six or seven beers at one sitting, though. That's okay. No. Binging is fine. No? You got to bump those numbers up, boy. More? At one yeah. sitting? Like 12? Nah. You, kill, no, you kill 12 packs on the regular. I can drink a bottle of whiskey in Listen, like you only got hours. one body. You got to watch what you eat. Okay. Yeah, you can drink, smoke, this, that. You got to eat greens. Yeah, that's true. Food eat greens. Place. Drink a lot of water. And fucking, yeah. That's the secret to living to 87? About it. Listen, so if I man, eat well, our grandfather's 92. If I eat greens, drink a lot of water, I'll live till at least 87. I mean, uh, I'm cool with that. 80, it's, it's, for me, at it's the end what of the you day, put in your body. I think I'm, yeah. I'm going to be off this earth, I'm going to say about 74 years old. I'll That's, be gone. You don't want that. That's kind of young, though. Yeah, but. I think. Six years, listen. Unless I quit the smoking, I don't really drink. I, I'm not a big drinker. I'll have maybe one or two dinner or whatever. You got to quit. Smoking yeah, is gotta my, quit that's my bad habit. You got to quit it. That's it. The cigarettes, you got to quit it. Honestly, I, it's been that's, four years now since I've smoked a cigarette. That's my bad habit, boys. The Jewel's great. I like to smoke. Give it up, man. It's not worth it. Yeah, the Jewel is better. Trust me. It's I do it when better. I get in the car. The Jewel's better. It doesn't smell. I do it when I get out of the car. <laughs> I do it before I go eat. I do it while I'm waiting to get fed. I do it after I eat. I do it when I get back in the car. After sex, before sex. Before I go into the pool, when before I, I go out of the pool. About six of them before I get on a flight. On about my way four to of them when I get out of the flight. Yeah. How, many, how many packs? If I hit two red lights in a row, I'll smoke a fucking cigarette. <laughs> if my favorite song comes on, I'll smoke a cigarette. <laughs> If you're I fighting, ass, I'll true. smoke a cigarette. It's if you're in a good mood. True. It's a mental game, man. If I mood. look at Jack long enough, I'll fucking smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Before I start the show, I smoke a cigarette. Oh after the show. Immediately after the show, we smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I feel like one of those rappers that are going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my beat right here. Oh, oh my God. That was good. <laughs> the only time I don't smoke a cigarette is when I'm sleeping. Nah, for real? Ew. I smoke. I want to say, if if I'm not working a lot of overtime, I'll smoke maybe like ten to twelve cigarettes a day. That's but, not bad. But in the past bad. three weeks, I've been smoking almost close to a pack a day. I used to smoke a pack a day. New no. Since the day I got out, I have not shaved. I have not smoked. I have not drank alcohol. But you took it in the ass, didn't you? <laughs> Did you change your religion? That's <laughs> my day Shut up. Damn, sorry. Are we on the air? I keep forgetting. I, I thought we were in our meeting. We? Sorry. What, are we live? Fuck. Are we on? <laughs> Wait, you don't drink alcohol? No. Good for you. That's next. No, I stopped those two things. and uh, You really I don't started... drink alcohol? When did you start this? Yesterday? Since I got out. Well, this is... Today, I actually said this before. This is probably going to be my last jewel pod. Fucking yeah. bullshit. So the next I'll put podcast, money on it. Yeah. I'll follow up be and it, see if I be can it do it next that. week or three weeks How? from now. <laughs> I bought a book, How to Quit Smoking. We'll see. I can't do it. It's, nicotine is so fucking addicting. It is, man. It is so addicting. It's so good. I I hear it's why is everything good for you? Good for you? It's the tobacco that's I not. started smoking at the age. How old were we when we smoked that first pack of Salem's? You were uh, He's the we jerk off that got 13? me into smoking. Oh, the Salem's. I remember he those. is about the jerk 13? off right here. Guys, everyone listening. Jack is the idiot who got me into smoking. He goes, ah, we'll buy a pack of Salem's. We'll try it out. 
And then we're fucking, I smoke one. I'm like, ah, it's not whatever. And then he goes, bro, I can't take the pack home. I said, I can't take the pack home. He goes, all right, we'll finish it. And we smoked the whole pack in like fucking three minutes. Where did you guys stash your packs of cigarettes? I have the best place that no one in relevant ever. I know where I used to stash my cigarettes. Where? In my North Face, I had over 46 fucking pockets. Eh. For terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible place. Terrible place. <laughs> That's all right, but I stashed terrible them in place. there. Terrible place. That's where I stashed Where did you, them. Jack, where did you stash your cigarettes? Dude, I, I just cared so little oh. about getting caught oh, oh. that I just had them in my pants. And my mom at the time was probably still doing my laundry. Like, so at that time, it was, she would catch on. But who's the, she'd be like, who's are these? Dude, like, Sokol. I, Sokol's. I was Big. holding it for Sokol because uh, uh, he can't, can't bring them home. <laughs> oh, man. Where did you, Mike? What was your hiding spot? I had no. Don't hide. say your ass. No, I had no uh, hiding spot. No? I had hiding. Yeah, but I, you didn't start smoking until you were in your 20s, right? I didn't give a damn. You didn't How about give a that? Damn? I started smoking at like 15, 16. <laughs> now, yo, dude, fucking. You and Jock, Colton, yeah. on Jock's block, on the on the old school block. Yeah, where are we getting at? Yeah, but that's when I first fucking smoked. Uh, yeah, how old were fucking you? Fucking sixteen years old. Sixteen? No, but you didn't. So you, you weren't were, continuous smoker. What, Nineteen. You really started smoking in your mid twenties. No, but I was like one or two. Come on. Get yeah, me. but you weren't buying packs. <sighs> this fucking yeah. guy over here in California is the reason why yeah. I would have never smoked ever. But thanks, I like it though. It's then I got it. Yeah, you're welcome. See, that's what yeah, you I should used to be hide saying. my Thank cigarettes. You. I don't know yeah. how I never got caught. <laughs> when I, I like, die, I want a fucking, I want a good uh, obituary. Yeah. Everybody used to chew the gum before, you know, the routine before you go home. Yeah. Chew the gum. Yeah, chew the, the gum. Do the mouthwash. Spray it's the a, cologne. You know how much axe I had in my fucking yeah. uh, North Face jacket. Yep. Bro, the Listerine right. strips, you remember? Yeah, yes, 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 strip. yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god, good times. Yeah. The best hiding spot is in the back of a PS2. The back of a PlayStation 2 opens up, and you could fit a pack of cigarettes in there. Really? That was my hiding I did spot. Not I never had PlayStation Shit. 2. So. Shit, it's a good spot, though, right? You would no, we, nobody would ever look in the back of a PS2. By the way, back on the topic of uh, the the North Face, you know how you were like forty six thousand pockets, bro? How nice was it? When after the fucking the summer's gone and you find know, you're money. starting to take out your your winter shit, you find yeah. the fucking you go to your North Face and you start going through pockets. You find fucking a pack from two years ago. You find a pack five bucks from fucking nineteen sixty two. I love <laughs> condoms we never shit. used. Yeah, I used to take yeah. condoms. <laughs> when we used to go to Remy, I would take condoms with me as if I was gonna get laid. Yeah, I'd get, I'd I'd get, probably, <laughs> those are probably still in my wallet. What's a condom? I haven't used a condom in like. <laughs> I don't know. What I'd get is. happy if I found fucking seventy five cents. Yeah, this kid's a real fucking uh, Ginzo over here, yeah, bro. No, no, no. He still has communion money, this motherfucker. I, s- uh, <laughs> I saved my change. I have a whole thing. Yeah, I have change, but this I have kid, he'll nickel and pen you. It's very hard to get rid of. Nah, the banks yeah. don't take it. You gotta roll it, dude. Like- we've gone out to eat. Me, Wait, you, what? me, you, and the brothers, and you know how it's like four people going out to eat. It's like, all right, we'll just split the check twenty five percent each. Mm-hmm. He'll be like, nah, I didn't, I didn't order this. I didn't order that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bought this, I bought that. Dude, I no, don't, we went to uh, I don't Vegas recall. Even, like that. You don't recall? I don't recall. Oh that. man. Well, I, I swear to God. Recall. I definitely recall. I swear to God, because I'm always the first even one. on Mother's Day. It's no, COVID. No, no, so I said, hey, let's throw in 60, 70 bucks each. We'll get her an iPad or a fire stick. This kid goes, nah. Well, there's that's a little different, but the uh, the, the thing you bring up about the restaurant, I have mixed feelings about that. I have not, never I am a big advocate of let's split it evenly. Right? Just split it even. It okay, just... wait, 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 If you're at a table with three right. people. I get where you're going. It's you, your fiance, and a friend. Okay. Your fiance gets a meal, you get a meal. You already Who's know this you're... friend? Your special friend or her special friend? It's my friend. Okay. Right? Not the one you bring over for Thanksgiving. So that bill is a 50-50 bill, right? No. Well, that's what I'm getting at. I I'll, yeah. I'll, I have the rules if, for that. If I if I was the person, the third the third wheel, I would yes 50-50 it. Yes. 50, of course. I would 50-50 it. It's you and your girl, 50%. Okay, forget it. It's me, no. me, you, and your better half. Me, I would you, 50, and my 50 better half. You. I would 50-50 with you. Okay. Right? I'm the first, I'm, I'm by myself. There's a couple. Uh, 50-50, no problem. However, how would you feel 50 50 with me if I got way more stuff no, than both wrong. of you guys combined? You're wrong. First of all, first of all, ah, if it was, hold uh-huh. on, hold on. No, no, uh-huh. hold on. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is how I'm your listen, fucking jerk. Shut up. Ben, You're I not even listening to me. <laughs> look at me. Look, look I, I wish you guys God could see it. Goddamn motherfucker. Shut up. <laughs> shut up, boy. I 
I will fucking shotgun you right now, boy. Man. Now let the let the boss talk real quick. I've gone out with me, my significant other, and a friend. I don't do the 50-50. I'll do the 70-30 or whatever, the 66. All right, you're 69 on your face. It Sometimes. should be more on my side because yes, right, I'm automatically right. paying okay. for her. I'm not going to. And part, I got to pay for me. As the third wheel, I wouldn't say, okay, let's 50. Now, right, if you're the third wheel and I'm talking, you're ordering shots, you're ordering drinks, you're ordering this, this, and that, I would still do it. But that's the last time I go out. Uh, my you, head. That's my point. So that in my head. Th- what if what if it's someone that you're close with? Oh, I'll tell them straight up. I'll be like, now nah, you're throwing more or okay. you're paying for the tip. This exact thing has happened to me. Where it was like I'll all take right, the fucking belt out. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me people. twice. <laughs> like, you can't I'll fool start me twice. Country and start whipping people. Go ahead. Sorry to cut you. I bit the bullet and just dealt with it. But it, you know, it was in the back of my head like Motherfucker, you have the balls to sit there and order 18 meals, 15 drinks, and you're eating way more than the two of us combined and mm-hmm. drinking, whatever. Does that person have the right to get mad if you call them out on it? No, and, and, they shouldn't at, get at, mad. At a different point in time in the future and saying, Oh, you call Yo, them out right then and if there. If you sit there, the, the yeah, comment right I said was, Oh, you're cheap. And it was like World War Three, but. No, you call them out right then and there and you solve the problem. But It's a fucked up situation. But. I, I have, Mike, you ever had that issue or you are the issue? What do you mean? Paying for the bill. It's Paying always 50 bill? 50 or you're the nickel and dime. No. You're I'm the not nickel a, and dime, bro. I'm not the nickel and dime. You know what I hate? When motherfuckers take advantage. Exactly. No, I, I agree somebody. Yeah, yeah, I know. But no, no, sometimes. And I can't fucking stand that. <clears throat> All right. Oh, oh, oh what are you, what are you, you get no, a Conor McGregor mode? No, but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Who the fuck are you? I don't, I don't like that shit. No, I agree with you, Mike. When you, when you take advantage of yeah, someone. Yeah, I know. But at the same what? time. You keep it buried in the back of your head. And here's like, another you know thing. Where? Here's another thing I think you have a little issue with, which I don't. If I go out to drink, somebody buys me a round. I think it's fine. I buy them around. No. Oh my God, he's dude. A, that's a whole other conversation. You're telling me I don't. Are you nuts? No, I'm saying. Are you fucking nuts? When I came back from the military, when I was done with active duty, you treated me. You said, "Hey, I want to treat you. Let's go out." You bought me two rounds, and then you looked at me. You go, "Where's my round?" I said, "Dude, you bought me around. You bought me around. You bought me around for yourself. If I want to buy around, I'll buy around. Obviously, I always buy rounds. Yeah, I'm not I, a cheapskate. I think. You, you trust gotta, me. I'm gonna gotta, die broke. You gotta understand." After an hour and a half goes by, you're like, holy shit, this fucking guy's still in, still in your fucking round. That's no, not no, me. No, no, no. I hear both yeah, your points. No, no, I no. hear both your Listen, points. No, no. Honestly. If you're going to go out, you're going to buy a round, don't expect shit back. Yeah. You fucking... Hold on one second. Ooh, ooh, when you, ooh. Listen, when you buy a fucking round... Okay. Yeah, right away, you don't have to fucking buy the guy... The guy is saying, all right, he's he's probably going to buy me the next round. Let me tell you round. something, kid. But you can't That's expect it. Hey, you're hey, fucking... No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me mediate you. I got to mute you. Wipe the milk off your mouth. Yeah. Let me teach you something, little kid. Yeah. Can if we I go out and room? I buy you, Victor, and Jack around, I'm not expecting nothing. Yeah, that, yeah I'm not expecting point. nothing. I'm doing me it neither. because I want to buy a round. Me yeah. neither. And if yes. I want to buy two rounds, I'll buy two rounds. But I'm not going to expect you. But if you buy two rounds, it's because you wanted to buy the round. Exactly. Yeah, I think now, it's Now, if, if you're going to be real, you should say, hey, Mike, I have your next round. Yes. If it doesn't happen... You know from the future, from that point on, you don't buy this cocksucker around. No, but I don't think so. It. I don't like I've So I've you're been calling that. yourself a cocksucker. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, you took me out. You said I'm uh, treating you for the uh, night. Uh, I got out of the military. If, if I can if I can go back to the fucking future, oh my God. Listen, guy, I came out of the military, I was making six hundred dollars every two weeks. It don't matter. I didn't have that much money. It don't matter. You said I'm taking you out and I'm treating you. When you say that, when I said I'm taking someone out and treating them, I'm treating them the whole night. If they drink twenty drinks that night, I'm paying for their 20 drinks that There's night. There's no shot. You're guys, guys, that. guys. I yeah, think both not? of you guys are Seven right. Seven and a half inches for record. I think both of you guys are right. At the same time, if I was bought around, me as a person feels the, you know, I feel obligated to returning that. However, the person buying that round should not expect it. Should not expect so it. So it's it goes both ways. It, oh. that, but, but wait, wait. I think that really is defined by the people you're doing it for. If you're doing it for close friends and it's a relation and it's and you have a close relationship with these people, it's hey, I'll buy you this round. If I don't get it back, I don't. Okay, fine. Tomorrow, I'm sure at or another point in time, you're going to return the favor. Yeah. I've done it for people who are randoms and we was extremely pissed off that not one of them bought me a drink. I so I, 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 I agree. No, I get it. I get it 100%. With. I do get it. I I've buy I've bought rounds for people where I never even got one. 
and but, in, but I don't say anything. For our listeners the out there, around in New York City for five people is going to cost you about 150 About 100 and So we're not talking more, about... More than and and yeah. I'm not a cheap fuck. When yeah. I buy rounds, my rounds mm. come with a drink and a shot. I bought a round for, for at my fiance's birthday for all of her friends. It was like a $400 bill. One one round. And it was yeah. the place expensive, but one round was 400 bucks. I never got anything back from anybody. I was fucking pissed. All right, so, so, so I think I think my opinion is going to be the least fucking true. Um, like none of no n- nobody here is going to agree with me on this. But if I know, I already don't agree with you. But go yeah, ahead. If I know that you're not the type of person that likes to throw in, I know that whatever that my time, like no, our no, experience, no, no. is going to cost me the money. It better be worth it. Otherwise, you're just not going to get my phone call back to be like, hey, do you want to go out again? Wait, wait but, but you could uh, still have that. You could still appreciate the, the presence. It's just, you know, there's a, there's a line that you don't cross. Well, you don't have to buy rounds. If you know you're with somebody cheap and they're close friends of you, just don't buy the round. Just get a that's drink. It. That's it. If that's that something have, that, but if that's something you know. I have no problem. Let's say... Uh, Subject A is the cheap fuck, and I'm with B, C, and D. I'll be like, "Hey, B, C, and D, what do you want?" I'll do it. No, publicly, I don't, I don't know. Publicly, you're like, I don't, you know, I don't like, I, like. No, I'll circles, do it right in front. Be, hey, bartender, get these three. I'm drink. so glad that these days are kind of limited yeah. ahead of us. You know what I mean? Like, but at the end of the day, and, and if I, I think at my at this stage of life, like for me to be out in that environment, it's it's some sort of celebration. So let me get it. another round of beer here mm. for my friend. <laughs> yeah. I just had a, a a recent thing. Okay. About this fucking. We situation. don't mention names. Yeah. Go we're ahead. not me- mentioning names. I'm in the backyard. I'm barbecuing. Mm. Having a great fucking time. Set so, the mood. Set the mood. Yeah. What day is so it? I'm, is I'm, it I'm, night? Well, pff, fucking day is right. it? It's it's around four thirty mm. in okay. the afternoon. Sun is is it's going down, but it's nice. It's setting in the west. Yeah. And fucking, I'm just chilling. I'm calling this fucking kid. I'm like, yo, I'm not calling him, texting him. It was modern day and you, you texting mm-hmm, him. Mm-hmm. But anyway, fucking, I'm telling him, come over, come on. I'm riding my bike. I'm riding my bike. All right, you're riding your bike. But when you're done, come over. So he eventually comes over. He's like, I'm here. I come down the steps. I throw him out. What do you him, mean you him, throw and him, my, out? him and my boy, I throw him out a beer each. No, no fucking questions asked. And I bring the 12 pack out for us to continue. So they're like, yo, dude, we're riding bikes. We're going to put them in the fucking, we're going to put them in the garage. We're going to come back. I said, no problem. So he comes and scoops me up. I bring that 12 pack in the fucking car. Start fishing them out, fucking beers, this and that. No problem. So we go to Austin Street. He buys two fucking sugar fa- fucking bitch ass drinks, whatever. They, they they ended up costing fucking thirty dollars for both of them. Fifteen each. So, yeah, yeah, fifteen each. I take a so pinch of the sugary I said, drink. I didn't even know he was fuck I didn't even know he was buying the fucking <laughs> drinks, dude. Because mm-hmm. I'm fucking feeling good. I'm chilling. This and that. So he comes to me, he's like, Yo, by the way, you owe me fifteen dollars. I'm like, yo, dude. Yeah, that's I'm like, hold on. Yeah, no, I, you can't yeah. do that. <clears throat> First of all, I got my fucking credit card. I don't got no cash on me. I told him nicely the first time. Meanwhile, it went fucking four times in a row. Mm-hmm. I told them the first time, I said, yo, dude, I don't have cash on me, but I got you on the next one. Key word, I got you on the next one, dick face. Anyway, fucking, so he's like, nah, 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 dude, give me, give me the fucking money. I'm like, yo, dude, I got you on the next one. It could be fucking food. It could be the next drink. Mm-hmm. It could be fucking anything. I got you. Yeah. Dude, it, it it went to the fourth time that I was like, yo, dude, you're fucking pissing me off now. Yeah, no, this, this, these are the things yeah. that, like, yo, dude. Listen, he's expecting this you to be you, This is what you were That's talking what about. That's what I'm saying. No, this no, is what you're talking about. But I'm not that guy. I, don't I know mean, you're not I don't that guy. I don't know what the fuck you're talking Expect about. It, but it gets I'm just worse. Saying, it gets worse. We've been no, there. No, 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 no. Yeah, we've been there, but I don't know. Mike, he, I'll tell you, it gets worse. I've hosted so many gatherings at my dude. house. I've paid for hundreds of dollars of food. You know how many times I've been? that's been reciprocated back to me? Probably zero. I would have said one. Just to, once. You know, well, see, maybe once. Maybe I'm one. on the opposite side. So of that. do you know? If I, I was there, I used to have taco nights where I would invite people over and cook everyone tacos. But now, how do you expensive uh, shit? Yeah, but how do how Flaming do you do this? Nights. So if if I'm hosting a party, or if I'm going to a party and someone invites me to eat, I'm not gonna be like, oh, here's fifty bucks. No, no. But I'm gonna 
Here's a bottle. Correct. Here's two bottles. Correct. Here you go. Here's this, here's that. And that's for you. People you bring know what things. I mean? What do you want me to you bring know? next time? No, but it's not even about bringing shit. I don't care yeah. about that. If I have people over, I never expect, I don't, I am the type of person that don't want people to have to worry about bringing exactly. anything. You're hosted a party, host it the right way. As a guest, I, I don't, I don't feel that I like to deal with, oh, this person wants me to bring fucking, you know. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. yeah. Uh, sweet potatoes like it's annoying you know what i mean i'm going there like i'm trying to get holiday parties is maybe a little different but if you're gonna host a party you you have you have you you gotta have the beer the liquor i have always have water the coca-colas the sodas yeah you have a lot of shit yeah i've done it where i've I've had like filet mignon nights where i'd cook everyone's steak and i'm gonna talk about eight nine people it's not cheap no it's not everybody sitting at the table you know how many times i've been invited to you that's been reciprocated very little very little and And i'll tell you why if I came to one of your parties and I didn't bring you stuff, it's because you're coming to my party and I got the same shit to offer. But so like if like if I'm going to your like traditional party, right? We'll get into traditions actually. If I'm going to your party, let's say you throw a party for Super Bowl and you spend all that money on food. I got you. I'm gonna bring a bottle of regardless. Yeah. But I throw the party on New Year's Eve, I'm gonna look at that like, hey, listen. That's like know, my point. I I I But you're gonna at least invite me. Of course, I'm gonna invite right. you. There you go. There you go. That's my point. It's but, not even it, you know because the invite itself, it's it's, yeah. and it gets fucked. It gets fucked up because it puts you in a position where it's like, listen, these are at this stage, it's people that you've had in your life for a really long time. It's not worth getting upset about. It's, it's just a reality. It, and, and you, you gotta to to you gotta it. be mature. Yeah, because I, I go I to pool like you parties. Listen, hold listen, you hold can't on one you second. can't you can't do things for people and and ha- like for example, I got you that bottle. I don't expect anything back from it, right? You, but you eventually. But, you but will. I still did it, and I understand and that. I appreciate it. you would give it back at some point in time, but I'm not doing it because I want something for it. This indiv- individual and that's how you that I was talking about, okay. he's been around for a long fucking time. You know him a long time. I'm fucking, dude. I'm fucking 28. I'm 28 years old. Are you? This I kid's you 27, 29. and I'm like, damn. Did it really come to this fucking, this fucking type of energy? I think that's the age. Fucking of chewing, yo, dude. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Chewing my ear off. I don't get it. Chewing oh. my ear off for fifteen fucking dollars. I was like, yo, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this, that's... Like you were saying, pool parties. I was just in Vegas for my boy's fucking bachelor party. We dropped twenty-two thousand dollars on one fucking pool party. This kid's chewing my fucking ear off for fucking fifteen dollars. You believe that? That's another thing. Do you fucking that's believe that? Just fucking think about it. It's yeah. fucking insane. It is. It's, it's fucking. It's in. It's. If I had, if it's then you gotta stop of. hanging out with those. Yeah. No, no, I'm just I saying. Think, it's like I'm telling you, dude. I didn't off, even, bro. dude. Yeah, but I didn't know he was buying the fucking drink because I was already yeah. feeling good. I was already. If a you talk, didn't ask for it, you I was already. Been I was already fucking ten beers down. Yeah. Going into his car, throwing him beers. Listen, the fact that you, if you, even if you were to cook, for but him, I'm just saying. That's yo, gonna be dude, more expensive than fifteen bucks. Di- dishing out beers, no question asked. He didn't say, "Yo, Mike, bring beers in my car." I, what movie I did was it, it. I did it out of the fucking heart, and I'm fucking throwing them beers. And then this kid got the fucking audacity to fucking chomp down on my fucking, on my, whatever. Yeah, yeah, fact forget about it. I Just you. fucking forget it. All right, don't get hey, me big, fucking. Big. What was the, What was that movie? Now. Take it easy. What did it cost you to lose that guy? What did it cost you? <laughs> Nothing. Fifteen bucks. Fucking Fifteen doesn't... bucks is out of your life. Yeah, maybe you watch the, the Bronx Tale. Jack. Is that the Bronx Tale? No, 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 he's, right. he's right. It was over twenty. There's also benefits right. to being cheap. Listen, the richest people in the world are rich because it's not how it, nah, what they make how is how they spend. Cheap. Yeah, but you know what? Listen, that wealth is That's not what you make; it's what you spend. I get it, but at the same time, this is true. Enjoy your life, what you have now, because at the end of the day, you're not getting buried with all your money. Have money for rainy days, but also enjoy your life. Don't fucking. <laughs> Fill your couches up with money, and at the end of the day, you never know. You can get shot, killed, hit by a car, bus. You can't. You can't take it six feet under. Exactly. Well, you kind of can, if you want. If it's in your will. <laughs> fucking guy. Gotta I mean, fuck uh, up what dream. Bill Gates is. Uh, he's donating all his money. Yeah. Not even his kids. Well, that's because he probably feels guilty for all the shit that he's been doing in yeah. the medical industry. Do you really think that any of Bill Gates' kids got to have a problem getting a job oh, anywhere? Oh, no. The name, they get paid for the name. <laughs> it's like, oh, Go you're Bill Gates? Oh, paid. can you endorse I, this for a million dollars? I yeah. heard he can give yeah. fucking the whole world a dollar and still be fucking rich. <clears throat> Do you know if Bill Gates dropped yeah. $100? It would He's cost, not really it would the cost him man, more though. money to pick it up than it would to just leave it. What? <clears throat> so there's a study around that. The amount of money he makes per second 
it would cost him money to pick up money that he dropped on the floor. Really? Yeah. So he would make, he makes like, I think it was like $1,600 a second or something like that. Sixteen hundred dollars a second, or a minute, or something like that. I would. Oh my god! A second? No, he means he's like he's one hundred and seventy billion or hundred. Jesus billion. Christ! Jeff yeah. Bezos, forget it. He's a, he's he's the yeah, richest yeah. man in the world. Yeah, he's well, he's the richest public man. The Ross child. He's been on a, um, Epstein's uh, island, though. I heard Jeff Bezos been on Epstein's island. I think. <clears throat> what? I didn't hear about this, and I've been following that shit pretty. well. I sent you something. You gotta watch it, Jack. We'll talk about all it right, next episode, right, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, it's a whole... Uh, yeah, you got to watch that fucking... I just want to be... Oh, Tom like, Cruise again, motherfucker. Did anybody ever... I, I, I read Trump's book, Art of the Deal. I and didn't read it. Of, yeah, so part of his book was that he worked really hard to get part of this uh, like country club type thing. I always yeah. wonder what happens in those, those, env- you know, those settings and those environments. Like the people that you meet... He's really exclusive clubs. I don't know. People got so much money nowadays. That's how. That's the only. Listen, the, to get to that level of life, yeah. it's not about. I love it how we have friends. Do you that know the go to clubs and they're like, "Yo, I'm meeting this person, that yeah, person." Yeah, fuck I'm that. Like, Are you You're celebrities me, and shit. You don't want to meet the. You don't want to yeah. meet the person, the loudest person in the room. You want to meet the quietest person. You want to, want to be the person that's yeah. not in that room. Yeah, cause I'm promoting clubs. I'm 29 years old. But, hey. What I'm oh, getting yeah, at is yeah. get the job. people that get to this level. You're hurting my feelings, man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, come to club, bro. Promote him, bro. Nah, I agree with Victor about that. Like, you don't, yeah. You gotta watch who you talk to, and you gotta make sure that when you're when you're when you're asking for advice, you're asking the right kind of people, man. Yeah, yeah. you gotta be you gotta be involved in. in you need to network, you know, you know yeah. You need to network. You gotta get get on your phone. You gotta start texting people. You gotta start networking. Listen, the Lehman Brothers. Uh, they they denied Jeff Bezos. Anybody the Lehman Brothers were an investment banking company. When he was like, "Yeah, I want to create Amazon," they were like, "Ha, it's a joke." Come fuck off. Have they yeah. committed suicide yet? The Lehman no? Brothers aren't around anymore. Yeah. If anyone knows that because of well, a lot of people. Uh, you know, that's that's their ego in them. If they were, if they did, that's like Blockbuster them. when Netflix came out. Netflix was like, "Hey, Blockbuster, join us." They're like, "Nah, we, we got a guy," and look what happened. Yep. What's Blockbuster? It's like now? Redbox. People Kids fucking like, rent a DVD. Yeah. Redbox ain't bad. But who the hell has DVD players? Yeah, I don't know. The Listen, only DVD if it's not on Nif- is an Netflix, Xbox. If That's it's it. not on TV, I'll just wait Blu-ray. for it to get on TV or Netflix. I'm not paying for anything no more. Especially with this crazy <laughs> act. Yeah. Well, now the movies that come out, like, but the only thing about Netflix is that the quality movies suck. Like, they, they what release are you talking this, about? some of those movies. Wait, the are movies so bad. that are. Nah, they're I'm not so watching like the movies I Netflix, am, Netflix, Netflix originals. Netflix originals, yeah. yeah some of them, some of them are pretty. Uh, they're really, bad, they're like yeah. filmed so badly. There was another one. It was like uh, the last days of American crime. Mm. I had no oh, idea. God. Like an hour in the movie, I had no idea what the movie was about. You got to, uh, I don't know. Netflix is great. For Sometimes that's a good thing. No, it's not. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Netflix is good. Well, okay, look, there's though. a movie that I want to, I want to just put out there that you have to watch because you will not understand anything that's going on. Can I take a guess? the last five minutes. Can I and take it's a fucking guess? Great. Interstellar. Huh? Can I take a guess? No, go. White meat on black streets. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's called horse girl. What? Horse Girl. I was close. Yeah. What was the worst movie you guys ever watched? Is that a Mexican girl? It's not, it's not a Mexican girl getting fucked by a horse? It's not a Mexican girl getting fucked by a horse? <laughs> no, no, no. But for real, uh, Horse Girl. What's it about? What's it about? Uh, I can't tell you because if I tell you, it'll ruin it. But I Where guarantee is it on? You, Netflix? you will not stop watching it. Yeah. Netflix, horse Girl? I'm watching it. Tonight. Did anybody watch the movie on Netflix where you chose the outcome? No, so, no, no. Oh, so Those you choose your own favorite ones. No. So there's, you know, there's a movie going on, and then like he has to make a decision, and then you have to pick, mm-hmm. and then based on that decision, it goes That's, to a different, ver- you know. Well, yeah. I've played uh, apps like that, like well, yeah, it's similar to that, that. But they but made this that. They movie? tried. It's a movie. It's kind of like I Black think Mirror. I heard, I heard this. Yeah, it's I never got like to anybody watch Black it. Mirror. No, I never yeah. watched that. Black Mirror is interesting. It's about like technology and the world and. The future, whatever. Oh no, no, sorry, not Black Mirror. I was watching that other one with the with the the, the chips in their neck. The man, forget it. Sorry, I never <laughs> the watched one with Black Justin Mirror, Timberlake. <laughs> Where they have like they have like time. They have to pay with time. So instead of money, the world runs on time, and like your time Wasn't is tracked. Justin Timberlake in that. Yeah, Justin Timberlake was in that. It's terrible. Okay. 
He was I like, like I like when he played in a uh, social network. I think he was exonerated from the industry somewhere. Even though I hate fucking social media, that uh, social network movie <clears throat> about I hate how wa- Facebook uh, I was hate, created. I hate watching movies like that because I feel like it's fic- so fictional. Well, it was definitely... <laughs> They don't show Listen, you. Hollywood definitely puts in their oh, no, fucking fifty percent bullshit. They do not show you the the effort that yeah. it takes to develop the. I'm a developer. It takes extreme. It would be a little hard. It would be. It would, it'll be a twelve hour fucking this shit. No, movie it, no, but they, listen, it's the same thing like we discussed last time, right? If you're gonna make a movie about something, be accurate. Yeah, You're going to make yeah. a movie, make sure that the uniforms in the yeah, military. Yeah, but Hollywood got to, you know, Hollywood throws Listen, in their two cents because they got to. If you understand that industry, you you look at it and you're like, this is a fucking That's joke. why a lot of people, they don't do the mainstream shit. They have, they watch a lot of these underground things. Because, everybody, yeah, everybody says that I'm underground. Yeah. Everything. I love documentaries. And if you go on Netflix, there's a documentary about Centoya Brown, it's called. Mm-hmm. It's about a woman well, not a woman. She was a little girl at the time. I think she was. Oh, the cases of Centoya Brown. The cases of Centoya yeah, Brown. She was young yeah. at the. I don't know. I think she was she like, was like 14, 15, and she was getting sentenced to life in prison because she Damn. killed a guy. But the guy was actually trying to solicitate prostitution. Brought her in the room. He was being very aggressive. He was a veteran, and she felt scared, so she shot him. Now I didn't get to finish it. Oh. Um. A- I kind of feel bad for stories like that, so I automatically reason. What about the movie, uh, the story about the girls whose mother was making her think she was sick? She, they, the, so the mother made her think she was terminally ill. Uh, sinner? My wife was trying to make like, me watch that. I couldn't. She I was Sinner like, with Jessica no, Biel? No, it wasn't Sinner. It's a true oh. story. The, the girl was like 25 years old. The mom kept telling her was she, she good was like looking? 12. Just no, for the record. Because no? the mom oh. would shave her head bald. Oh. She kept her in a wheelchair. Sickness. All this shit for years. The girl didn't know her own age. Really? She ended up killing the mom and get, got sentenced, I think, to life in prison. Jesus. There's a whole series on Did it. Did she get out? No, I don't think so. Oh, <sighs> see, I hate shit like that. It's crazy. I mean, I mean, listen, yeah, you still murdered, still but you... It's, yeah, yeah, murder's wrong. I, I mean, still I have to disagree, it, but... though, what you said earlier about Netflix. There's no way that Netflix original... Like, maybe they can get away with making bad movies, like live-action movies, but as far as anime goes on Netflix, yo, they're kicking Ass. Well, they, all right. They have Adam, some really well, good ones. But, but Jack, think about the think about the effort. For anime. But just think about, yeah, you really think that there's nah, only three nah, percent? Nah, nah, trust me, it's extremely. Efficient. It's an army, bro. I say nowadays, <laughs> people with anime and stuff. Oh, I no. used to run into maybe one out of ten. Now I run into like maybe one out of. six. Listen, I watch. I have the DC app. I watch the DC cartoons. They're like the Batman. So they're actually really, really good. They're they're for adults. Mike, yeah. you still breathing there? But I agree with you, Giacomo, for the all animation. Right, but you have to think of the cost to make animation, right? As opposed to paying, it's a lot less. So it can be better, right? But yeah. these Netflix original movies that are filmed suck. They just fucking suck. They like the the writing sucks, the directing sucks. It's just they're just trying to pump out volume. So what? what so what you think? Like Hulu does uh, Hulu originals? Better, I don't think any. I don't think any like, of the, the these companies. They're technology companies, which I don't think should try to be replace Hollywood. And I think that's what they're trying to do. Like if I if I would look forward to a movie coming out from James Cameron. Yeah, I Why? mean, but, because but you're, you're, that- you're making it sound like Netflix is doing a terrible job, but in comparison to what? Hollywood. You know? Hollywood. Yeah, but for 10 the, bucks, the, the you media can't really, that, listen, you pay for what you get, though. Yeah, yeah but, that's what I'm saying. For 10 bucks, you're watching as many movies as you want. I don't know, that's I, all the money they I make. haven't really seen too many Netflix originals. The ones I have seen were all recommended. But I don't know how many Netflix originals are. I don't know. I've I mean, only I'm seen not, maybe three or four. Listen, honestly, I don't watch, there, I don't watch that much TV. There, I'm okay with their series, like the Netflix series. Any series, it's okay to be less, yeah. you know, shittier. But if you're watching a two and a half hour movie, it's in a big time investment. Mm-hmm. You would expect it to be good. You at least yeah. have some. You you expect. Listen, I want to go on Netflix and I want to watch a good movie, but I can't find anything. It becomes val- like you know less value. Has no value. Yeah, but I see a lot of companies. I mean, I don't I don't want to attribute that to because they don't have enough money. Uh, either because I watch a lot of uh, late night shows that are on YouTube that are like, you know, private, private people that have their own late night shows and they're better than, you know, the the Conan O'Brien fucking show or whatever the hell's on TV now. You know what I mean? So I don't, I I think production wise, Jimmy Fallon's funny. But they, they all, I can't all those watch those like, things. They suck. They, I, I can't just watch don't get it. The comedy's dry. It's you know what PG. it is. They always talk about the same shit, whether you're a Trump supporter or not. To hear it no, over they, and they, over and yeah, over, make, it's just fucking yeah. boring, man. But they make fun of like you know. Like, did you run out of like material? 
listen, we have so, nowadays we have so much more opportunities to get media from different places. We have YouTube. We have oh, forget it. The fucking internet. Hulu, Netflix, just the internet, just, just the, internet, the internet, in internet in general. Right. If you type it, you can get it. But the thing is, like, when you're if you wanted to cons- if you're a consumer right, and you like media, mm-hmm. if I watch Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon has to figure out and listen to. Hey, I have to make sure that all of the spectrum of of fans are correct, and I have mm-hmm. all of these policies by NBC or whatever, whatever you know, the television networks and all this shit. Mm-hmm. A YouTuber, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, what they what podcasts, YouTube, all so they can also be specific about a specific topic. So it's like, oh, I want to watch shit about space. I can go specifically to a place on YouTube, mm-hmm. specifically to a place on a podcast, or specifically to a website. That's how I like to consume media. When you go on Netflix, it's shitty. It sucks. And not for nothing. These people, I, I know they're making millions. They're great. But they also have 20, 30 writers. They have people doing all the fucking 20, 30. Thing. Look at, at the people doing podcasts or fucking YouTube. Look at us. Just for instance, for us. Yeah. We have fucking Google Docs, which is free. Victor over here set it up. We add yeah. notes. We talk to each other you know, daily, basically, or every bi fucking weekly, and we figure out what the fuck we need to do, and we just get it done. And I guarantee you, our shit is probably a little more entertainment than them, but we're not mainstream, so yeah, we're on the ground. Not yet. It's always good to be on the nah. ground. <laughs> I think we, we'll see. You never want to sell out. Yeah. Why don't you just outside? Why don't you just stay outside? And finish. I'd be all right with a sponsor or two. So we sit there and talk about apps for fifteen minutes before we uh, go live. Well, this, this app is great. They can do this for you. Let's just get this app. app you and app. you know, you know what's funny? <laughs> Look, the only listen. apps I like are the one before my fucking entree. <laughs> listen, I love the fucking everybody app. in the Shrimp world cocktail, knows. Baby. And I and I hate to say this because I have friends in the industry for advertisement, but I hate to say this. Everybody knows if they know there's going to be a 15 minute segment about whatever the fuck they're trying to promote, that we're going to skip to second 15 to start yep. or 15 you know minute to start. I'm not listening. Listen, if I want to buy something because you're sitting there talking about it, it doesn't make me want to buy it any more bit. And I the people that I listen to on, on YouTube tell you up front, okay, so for the next minute, I'm going to talk about this advertisement, da 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 Bro, instantly, ba 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 30 seconds ahead. I, I am not listening to that shit. Yeah. I follow someone on a podcast for, for a long time. I already know at, you know, minute seven or eight, I have to start the podcast. I never listen to the office. <laughs> And it's yeah, funny because I'm I'm that guy where I don't like like you said oh you got to listen to this you got to hear the people no 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 most of my shit that I do it's from other people hey go to this restaurant watch this movie look at this show I'll be like all right what's it about they tell me all right I'm in and I'm out all right yeah. boom exactly everything when, is recommended when, when something's to me. Word of I don't mouth, find shit on my it own it becomes more personal I oh well, I like to explore a little bit. This porn hub, you do your exploring on there. I don't mind, yeah. but uh, when it comes Bruh. to movies, documentaries, so if someone I like recommended when you, like, hey, it. watch this porn video, you would, would you, you would, yeah, enjoy 100%. It? I'll probably watch it right there in front of them. Would you judge them and say, oh, the fuck? no, I don't judge, it's judge free zone? I think, I, I think there are things that you just can't recommend. What about judging just in general, like, like you meet someone you don't know? I, mm. I have this thing where I, I have to judge people, and you know what? If it's cruel that I do it, then so be it, but at the I'm same time. Wrong. I don't know. If I'm always a, right. Not always right. I'm, always I'm right nine nine I, yeah, out of ten. Percent. I feel like I'm nine I'm, out of ten. Yeah, I feel like I'm a nine. I'm also right nine out of ten percent. Yeah. If like I you, meet someone, well, they say you have the first ten minutes. The first ten minutes you have interact with a person is their impression of them. Mm-hmm. They also say, which is funny, the first person you spend four hours of your day with is a person you become the most. Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like that's true. Could be. I don't know. I'm. A, I, I've been. Uh, I've been wrong so far. A lot of people. Uh, the. People that I thought were very nice because they were, you know, speaking nicely. That's and the California were, uh, in you, man. My fiance. Bro, those, that, I just had this conversation with my fiance. Yeah, the, they, they're the first to take advantage of you, man. Yep, 100%. But the, the assholes are the first to look at you like, hey, you better take care of yourself because I'm not going to fucking, you know what I mean? It isn't even, it's not even assholeness. It's, it's, it's realism. I would just call it like, like you're, you're being like rigid with this person, yeah. right? You have to really, uh, you know, acclimate to that type of relationship. You know, listen, you can't call everybody your friend. You know, even no. if even if you work with somebody or you How hang out with somebody you? and you go to the, hang out with them and drink with them, are they your friend? It, no. What's what's uh, that threshold? There has to be know. a threshold. Acqu- you're an acquaintance until I've known you for years. I'm the and type of person, listen, years. I'm the type of mm-hmm. person, 
Correct, Josh. If I go to work, the people I see at work would never, ever be my friends, no matter what. Ever. Yeah. Oh, but I, I had to learn that. Like, that's a lesson I had to learn after I joined. Because before I joined, I had you guys. And yeah, yeah a lot of people fell off, but I didn't have really anybody new. You know what I mean? Like, I, I had yeah. friends along the way that, you know, that, you know, people I went to the military with. But that's a totally different oh, topic. That's a, that's a, that's totally a whole fucking, that doesn't count. world. Yeah, I don't. You don't expect to ever make friends like that anywhere, any any other way. Not not um, to not to. I mean, listen. I, I got friends here. I got friends in the military. There's never been a point where my friends in the military either abandoned me or never were there for me. But I do have friends yeah. here sometimes where they're like, ah, oh, uh, just ate, you know. Well, I I, or, I don't uh, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? See, I agree yeah. with that though because. Do you think that you should keep people in your life that you don't benefit from? And let's 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 not say ben, I don't benefit, think you have to benefit. benefit, no. benefit what is so, benefit? Like, that's my point. That's what we're going to get at. Benefit could be a little bit subjective here, right? We're not talking about like any type no, of I, monetary I get what you gains. Get it. I get what you get. It. Some sort of benefit. I think right now with the age I'm in and and the way I view the world, as long as you're good company, you could be a good friend. That's how I see. Way, it. Well, okay. if you got nothing to but, give okay. to me, then so it's good. Fine. Com- we're we're using what? good company and benefit in the same kind of context here, right? I can say benefit as, hey, does this person, uh, you know, does he give got me you a- on restaurant bills as much as you got him? Yeah, whatever. Are you, you know, talking about the guy that splits the check? Is this the guy that splits the check? If he's the guy that splits the check. He's going to be in my life a little longer. All right, than the guy but that why? Because that check. means hey, something. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Of because it's person. one less rep- headache. But if no, no, we it- go out and the bill is fucked, like I've been to steak houses where the bill were twelve, fourteen hundred dollars, yeah. and it's three of us. We just split the check. Yeah. That's it. We go enjoy ourselves. I'm not. Oh no, you gotta pay the five hundred. You gotta See, pay the four fifty, and I'll pay. The I'm gonna thousand. be a hundred percent honest with you. I would rather a hundred times, like ten out of ten times, I would rather know that that guy is not going to pay the bill than have that awkward moment where you're like, all right, I'm going to pay for half or like, yeah, I would, I would but, pay for it all myself if I could just skip that moment but because this, this I, is I just where, I don't care. But this is where when you, you grow up, you see who these people are and you know, you've gone out with them two or three times and you know that this person ain't really the one you're going to invite. Like, listen, no. I have traditions. It, it, my traditions I like to do at least twice a year is I like to go out with my friends and we go to a steakhouse. And I'm yeah. not getting paid to say this, but I go to Wolfgang. I'm not going to mention 40, which Wolfgang uh, I go to. I go to the one on 42nd. Uh, 40 right, I'll mention it. No, I, I go to the one on 33rd and Park. You think? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. 33rd and Park. The train station. Yeah, right there. Yeah. That's the Wolfgang I go to. That is the greatest steakhouse I think this world has to give. Hey, not shutting down the other steakhouse. Listen, take, it's take funny. It I go there every year, too. Take, if you take it easy. That yeah. You could be a part of the group. Listen, you, Morton's is great. Ruth Chris is okay. Morton's I heard not. Del oh, Frisco is awesome. I've never been there yet. I will go. Peter Luger's is great. Peter Luger's, I hear, but it's, it's more of a mainstream. STK. I, STK, I don't go to no No, more. Peter Luger's is less mainstream than is Wolfgang's. It? Yeah. So the, the Wolfgang's is really commercialized. If you're an country. adult, you're mature, you want to go out, have some steaks, eat, talk amongst each other, STK is not the place. No. And I'll tell you why. Every time I've been there, I had a horrible experience. One- we all make reservations for about 738. <laughs> now we get 10. there and we get there 15 minutes prior. Oh yeah, we'll check you in. Okay, fine. We'll call you when the table's ready. All right. It's 745 I'm there. My table, I made reservations for eight. I don't get seated till almost fucking 915. Yeah, yeah. I just already spent two hundred dollars at the bar. Now I'm getting seated. As I'm getting seated, you got the fucking DJ blasting fucking uh music you can't even think you're screaming at the waitress what to order <laughs> it's, it's just not comfortable no, not at true. all you go to wolfgang it's your traditional steakhouse you sit down it's rugged it's rugged yeah. they got a little violin playing elevator music you're ordering your well, drinks it's, it's always loud there. they never fuck up your order yeah, they never don't. and the guys they i mean we we've been going there for the last four years at least two three times a year they know us so we always usually get a little hook up once in a while the best steak and their their appetizers are mainstream with the seafood. So I like to have my seafood before my meat. I went there once and made a big mistake. Where? What did you Wolf do? Gangs. So I was home. My fiance like, oh, I'm hungry. Let's go get steak. We didn't make a reservation. Mm-hmm. Mistake number one. That's mistake number one. I'll tell you why, though. Mistake number two. We didn't make a reservation. Okay. So we go to the city. We go there. They're like, all right, it's about an hour wait. You can sit at the bar. 
Never, ever, ever sit at a bar in the steakhouse, especially when you're hungry. We racked up about a three hundred dollar bill at the bar between Easy. drinks and Jesus. appetizers. Just appetizers. Then they're like, okay, the table's they're pro- here. They're probably fucking scoping right. you out. That's Listen, what it if you is. if you go they're to scoping a, you, it's going to be about a hundred dollars a person if you sit down at the table at minimum. Minimum, right? at minimum. yeah. And I have a rule. So our rule is you can't leave the the steak can you cannot leave with steak on the plate. Mm-hmm. You have to finish everything, of and course. we always get the steak for two. And we always got. I've been bone. playing by that rule since I was yeah. thirteen. The, the second rule is you always have to bring the bone home for your dog. But whatever, we racked up a three hundred dollar bill at the at the bar. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, your table's ready. You know, we're drunk. We're like, all right, let's go eat. Yeah. We ate until we passed out, and then there was another like three hundred dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Just make reservations. Yeah. Don't sit. And that's the beauty of uh, fucking Wolfgang. They're very now, good. Wolfgang's good. Peter Luger's is only cash. That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't cash. know that. Yep. But Wolfgang, yeah, you're going to get the top notch. And I'm telling you, you go to like one of these whatever steakhouses, I say average is going to be about 180, 200 a person. You go to Wolfgang, you're going to eat like a king, drink like a king. I mean. It's about 100 a person, I'd say. It's about close to 100, 100 to 150. The thing with that no place, though, you got to tip big. You got a tip big, but you know what? I mean, the service is just I always leave like a $60 tip. 60 I don't know. Mm-hmm. We just do whatever the bill is. We do 20% or something like that. You know that they're union and Peter Luger's? They're union. Are they? Yeah. Those guys I've been to Peter Luger. I just haven't been there in a while. I go to the one in Long Island. I don't go to the one in Brooklyn. I go there every New Year's Eve. Yeah? The one in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, no, no. I don't go to the no, one in Brooklyn. You don't want, I heard the one in Brooklyn. I took, good, oh, though. that's another story. I took a friend out there for lunch. Oh, God. Let's talk about the bill. Same person about the bill thing. Yeah. I was like, I'll pay for it. Damn. I'm not going to go there. Mike, steakhouse is for you or not? <laughs> I would say one of the best steakhouses I ever been to was Hunt and Fish Club. Uh, I've been to Hunt and Fish. It's good. Where is that? It's very good. Yeah. Where is that? Here? It's on West 44th Street between 6th and Hunting Broadway. Fish Club? It's called yeah, Hunt, Hunt and Fish. Hunt, Hunt and Fish. Hunt and Fish. HF. Hunt and Fish. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, so, Victor, I have a question. It's, it's, uh, it's best, yeah. right. best steakhouse for me, Chicago Cut. Chicago in, Cut in Chicago. In Chicago, yeah, best steakhouse, and it was free, so it tastes better too. But New York, if you had to give it a best the steakhouse, best steakhouse? Where are you going at? <laughs> uh, that's a little hard. Wolfgang's and Peter Lurie's are exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. The they only have thing the I like, seafood menu. No, no, no. that's that's when the menu is a little bit better. Wolfgang on has the fucking yes. lobster mac and cheese. But you don't want to go like if you go into a steakhouse. Oysters, listen, when I go to oh. a steakhouse, all I order is the bacon as an appetizer oh, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, mo- yeah. with mozzarella and tomatoes, mm-hmm. and a steak for two or three. Yeah, well, the that's porterhouse, the, right? Yeah, the porterhouse for two or three. See, I, and I actually just started dry aging, so I'm, I'm a hoping. little crazy myself because when nice. I go out, yeah. the last time I've been to Wolfgang, I went with uh, me, my girl, my friend Joe and Joanne. We went out. I mean, we ordered. We got two bottles. We had a dozen or two of oysters, shrimp cocktail. We had the bacon. We ordered the two porterhouses for two because I hear don't order the porterhouse for four. Order two for two. Two for two. Oh, two or, for two. Or three. You can do the three. Then we you had the espresso. The and then, oh, my God. I recommend if you're going to sit down and you're going to get a dessert, get the tiramisu out mm-hmm. of this world, bro. Listen, if you don't get oysters there. If you want oysters, go to Mermaid Inn. Yeah, I know, but I'm there already. But the oysters. Don't get oysters there. I like it. You it's can good. go to Oyster Happy Hours for dollar an oyster. Eh, I did. I did. I'm there. I, right. I did to myself. Time. To myself, I did two dozen oysters. Yeah. I did in that. South Carolina. How hard were you? I did that in Maine. Oh my that, god. That's a bullshit. That's bullshit. Dude, I was alive. I was sick. Yeah. You were sick, dude. Two, two it, dozen is a oh lot. Oh my god. No, I did that in Maine. So we went oh, to Maine. My fiance. Don't even talk about Maine. Maine has the best seafood out there. Yeah. Dude, I went to Maine for a when I used to. Soft, uh, soft shell, shell cr- crabs. Yeah. yeah, you get the long oh, I went to Maine for when I used to do carpentry, and we had to do. Uh, we were doing some ladies' bar mitzvah. We had to build the stage for the her uh, grandson and all that. But then she treated us to. Um, there's a place in Maine. I, I, I forgot the name. It's like what part Boom, of Maine? What, what part of Maine? Portland. Portland. Or? Yeah, okay. it was called like Boom Restaurant. It's it specializes in seafood. Portland's I mean, like Williamsburg. We ordered. A lobster each. We had oysters that were about four or five dollars each. That's expensive for me. That's expensive, but no, we were in a top quality restaurant. And I'm mm. telling you, man, it the best best seafood I've ever had. There's a really good place in the story if you want oysters. Boom. Yeah. A dollar nice oysters. But <sighs> Jack, what were you gonna ask me? No, I wanted to know that 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 person that didn't want to 
that has a problem reaching into his pocket to pay for some of his bill. Is he the type of person that just he or she, I don't know. You know who that, that person like, comes is? over and helps you out with like putting together your deck or nope, nope. he's not the guy that comes over and helps you paint or move or, nope. you know, no, it's none of the above. You know who that person is? That's the person that has the weed, but never has the money to buy the Dutch. Uh, you know, that's, uh-huh. that's that person. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, yeah. You know that's what I hated? No, you know where, what I hated? Where I hated. you could buy your 18 pack for eighteen ninety nine, that's already cold, or you could buy the same 18 pack that's hot for fourteen ninety nine. He'll he buy the, the hot, hot one. one. Yeah. No, he'll buy the, what is Hawk it? The, sucker. Uh, bud. No, not the Bud Ice, but the natural. He'll buy the PBR. Natty Ice. Natty Ice. That's natty right. Ice. I don't even know what that is. Hey, Natty Ice puts a lot of kids through college, man. Yo, PBR, Natty Ice, man. Is... <laughs> no, but yeah, it's it's definitely not the person that will help. It's always the person that you feel that like you have to help. More f- for mental yeah. related shit. No, that's, those right? are, those are Hence usually the reason, the like, it's like, oh, you know what? At the end, they'll take advantage. You know, I hate to say this, but it's like, you know, I feel, I'll, I have a little bit of pity for you. I'll take you out for lunch for P. Lewis. Yeah. Like, listen, no one's ever did that to me. Or for me. I am lucky yeah. enough to have the means to do that. So I figured, why not do it? Because you're people like us are great. That's what it is. We don't just, get me wrong. We <laughs> enjoyed company. I'm still an asshole. Don't get me wrong. Welcome to the no, cycle, no, no. jerk, fellas. I'm, hey, I'm a fucking <laughs> I'm an asshole, too. That's dude. a good point. I'm an, yeah. Listen, I have a nickname, uh, Big Dick Vic. Because I'm a fucking dick. Yeah, no, no. I, you know, but, but the people in my circle, I'm not. Right? It's not that yeah. way. I, I have I do have my guard up with people. But it's my, it's oh, the people that yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, people that give talking. back to you. you know, and then there's that that one person that always pays when you go out. I can't stand that because I want to fucking oh, that pay, I don't like man. That's usually me. That's oh, talking you, steakhouses. We're not talking fucking uh oh, Metro. Oh, you, you don't you don't think we got that over here in Cali? All right, yeah, you well, want to pay for a steakhouse? So I'll come uh, out. So Cali. when I went to Los Angeles, I went to um jeez, I can't forget the name. Forget it. Wake up. I forgot the name of the place. It was good. And a really good no, place. There's... Listen, if you guys also like anyone like Chinese food. I love Chinese food, but I only eat it once no, every like, two months. But not like, all right. So we're talking like Golden Harbor is the best Chinese restaurant. In, oh, yeah. In, very, very good. In, very in good. Oh. Golden Harbor, right. So you have your ch- regular Chinese food skill. So you're here. Anyone ever hear Philippe Chow's? Nope. No. Best. Ch- you have to go there. Everyone has to go there. We have, to, we have to all go. Hold on, hold on, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Talking about going over there. Go to Wuhop in Chinatown. Oh, Wuhop. Wuhop. No. Sorry, Wuhop. It's Wuhop. That's that's the place where everyone's and get, fucked and get up. The, and, and get the snow the peas. Yeah. What the fuck's a snow peas? It's it's those thin fucking it's vegetables. What about peas, those, I'm assuming? What about Sammy's? It's good. It's and it's called Wuhop. It's called Wuhop. I thought it was Wuhop. No, Wuhop. Wuhop. That place is. You, we, can't, you can't go to Wuhop. My brother and I. You can't go there. You can't go there. No, Wuhop place is, is like really. No, popular. now there's two of them. He yeah. built it bigger. But me and my brother, my brother and I, when we were younger, every other Sunday we would go to Chinatown and we would eat there for dinner. I miss those days. You have to go man. to Sammy's. Fucking awesome. Sammy's is good too. I think I Bill it. Cosby actually sat down across from Dude, us. Dude, Wuhop famous. is a place where it's everybody famous. goes. There's a lot of fucking. There's a lot of celebrities yeah. that have all the pictures on the walls. Yep. But Wohop is the place where everybody goes after drinking it. Oh, my it. God. Oh, yes. So good. I want to do another shout-out. Authentic. It's not Wohop. Oh, I'm starving. Stop saying Wohop. It's Wohop. It's always be Wohop. There's me. a place on 6th Avenue. Now, I, I, I want to say it's between 10th and 11th, but I'll say between 12th and 10th, just so I don't stare you wrong. It's called Sammy's Noodles. Yeah, Sammy's. It's the best general house chicken in the world. Yeah, but I've ordered scallion pancakes. I went with egg rolls. Egg rolls. I want. Yeah, the egg rolls yeah. are amazing. But I went with some coworkers. Um, we went down there. We got fucking me fun noodles, and then we had shrimp and beef wontons in the noodle with cut spare ribs on top. Yeah. Damn. My Sammy's is great. God. Damn. I go there. Damn. My God. We go there with my Damn. fiance and her parents. We go to Sammy's. It's not cheap. It's not mm, cheap. Definitely not cheap. Listen, when it comes to food and we're cigarettes, making, yeah, we're making yeah. Jack. Yeah, no, spend we're the making, money. Spend the money. We're making Jack hungry over there. I'm getting hungry again. Well, yeah. 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 Look I didn't even face. eat all day. If anybody ever wants lamb, you have to have Mike over here cook some lamb. That was That's delicious. That's right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That was delicious. I soup it up, motherfucker. So today- You, you can go get some at my dad's. Yeah, today, <laughs> I, I get here at one o'clock, and 
for those of you that don't know, because you guys know, to set up, I need to license every drop I use, every sound effect, every fucking song I put on here, uh, my intro, my outro. Everything needs to be re-licensed, reprogrammed, reset. And I tell my brother, it's like 1.15. I said, Mike, I want to go live at 5 o'clock. So go ahead, do your marinade and cook. It's 4.15, 4.20. I go outside to smoke a cigarette. The fucking meat is still not on the grill. That's oh, why we're a little bit on delay right now. Well, you got to so understand. Good. Hold on one second. It was so good. You got to understand. You got to make the meat go into fucking room temperature. Yeah. Then, okay. then you got to make it marinate. You got to make it sit. Hey, sometimes you don't it's not be good. Sometimes right. it's not be Mike, shit. I like your style. How do you cook a steak? Wait, wait, wait. You Who's don't understand. How Listen. do you cook a steak? I know, I know you have to let it rest the time it was cooked. I just go to steak houses. I don't really know. I can make a steak. Though. No, but if you make a steak, but how do you guys make it? Do I reverse sear it. How do you think? How do you think Wolfgang's makes it? No idea. But I you know how I like it. my steak. You first you gotta let it rest. I like it plain. For one thing, you never let it. You never grill steak ever. So they sous vide it. No, well, Wolfgang's they don't. But you could sous vide huh. it. But you never grill a steak. So say to to padre. Yeah. First to thing, padre. The second thing you do is you never cook it cold. Has to be room temperature. Has to sit out for yes. an hour and a half, and it also has to have mm -hmm. salt sitting on it. So, you can basically take any steak, the cheapest cut in the world, and make it taste like filet mignon by with salt, because salt breaks down the muscle. But whatever, you have to sear it on a cast mm -hmm. iron, and you have to bake it. Yeah, I mean that's a reverse sear. Yeah, proper twelve. That is the best way to make a steak. And if you eat steak like I, you go to Wolfgang's, and you make that same type of steak at home. Mm -hmm. You don't have you don't have to go to uh, steakhouses anymore. I, I'm you, you, yeah, man, and uh, use a cast iron uh, skillet. Yeah. That's what I cast use. iron. Yep. Cast iron. I have yeah. cast iron. I, I, have, I just I, have. I go out to steakhouses because the environment. Well, yeah, no, no. And every, that's I, I why like you go being out. Served. But if you ever I work make, hard and I want to get listen, served. if you ever want to make steak, you go to BJ's, you buy filet mignons. It's oh. three for twenty. You yeah, make you, cook it the right you way. have a really nice meal for for yeah. pretty cheap, and it's like restaurant quality. I'm a I'm a big cooker. I love cooking. So yeah, like like Vic said, I don't mind cooking. I love cooking. I love that shit. I'm the cook in the, in the, the, in the, in the relationship. I'm sorry, Medi Jenna. Meditation for me. Yeah, cooking is I love it's it. amazing. I love that shit. It's fun. I, uh, I actually I think more men are cooking uh, than women nowadays. Well, the best cooks in the world are men. I don't want to you know, sound hey, sexist. Hey, stop, bang, bang. They are. No, they are. Boom, boom, You're going to start boom, offending boom. people. Well, the most bang, public bang, bang. rated cooks in the world are. <sighs> but there's offensive. So there's a lady. I always I follow I follow chefs. I'm going to defund you. There's a lady in... Thailand. <laughs> that works on the streets, right? It's a, it's a street meat vendor in Thailand. Mm. She has two Michelin stars. She has a cock in between. I, all I've that? heard of street meat vendors in Thailand. Is Wait. she a she male? Probably, but she has two Michelin stars. <laughs> if she as comes, long as she can cook, listen, she's if good she my comes mind. here, you probably if somebody would have had a restaurant with two Michelin stars, you, it would take you hours to sit in a place like. Listen, that. when I was in Korea for nine, and months, I appreciate food. I was paying like four or five dollars from those street venues. The best food. Yeah, but there were some restaurants that were good. Well, that's why, you know, I think of the COVID stuff and the restaurant experience, the best places to eat are the ones that are the hole in the walls that are tight and yeah. stuff. Like how are they I just got to do a quick shout out because I have it on my mind. If, if, if any of you guys are in Fort Hamilton, South Korea, um, the city of uh, Pyeongtaek, I think it was, Wawa's. Go to Wawa's. It's on the corner. I don't know what street it is. You get out of the main base. You go straight. You make a... The the third available right, make a left, and it's a few blocks down. It's, it's called Wawa's. Has the best fucking bulgogi, gulgogi. Beef oh. bulgogi is the best. I have yeah, I, I but, have Hello Fresh. But the but, I but the Korean food in the city is a little different than over there because they have a different marinating. They have and you cook it all yourself. It's just a little different. Yeah. But Maybe. I will find a Korean barbecue here. That's anybody pretty. use Hello Fresh. I don't know what that no, is. No, no, that's no. like the food service where they deliver the ingredients and you cook it. Really. I never heard of it. It's that. really good. So they send you basically you. I like it to every, go to the stop and shop and buy uh, everything in sometimes, myself. Sometimes, sometimes you know, it's I easier. I like to make it myself. <laughs> okay, I don't believe it. This is this is this app. This is shit. Baby, <laughs> baby. <laughs> stop. I like it because I don't waste food. Yeah. Because I, I I tend to like buy like oh my God. when you want to buy broccoli, you can't just buy like one thing of broccoli. So you have to buy the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You're never going to eat the yeah. whole thing, especially when there's, so there's cut two it in of half us. and fucking. Nah, when you have kids, you go through. Uh, it, believe me, yeah, kids have, have a kids. good way of fucking going through. But when there's two of you, <laughs> how much fucking broccoli are you going to eat in one sitting? 
I mean, that's why I like HelloFresh is because it's portion control. Yeah, but it depends and I, and I don't who you, waste food. where you're at. Because my family, they wouldn't let us out to dinner until we finished a plate. Obviously, that's why I'm a little bigger. I can't than normal. tell my fiance that John, she can't that, leave the table until she's done you with her fucking, fucking broccoli. You grab a. By you the you can. Broccoli. You just oh, got to be that guy. I you guess, take your I belt guess. off. <laughs> <laughs> do a couple whoosh, listen whoosh, out whips. That's gonna be the new rule. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna start to employ that then. Josh, that's good. Yeah. That I'll let you guys know how that how, the, how that works. You just put your hand on her neck and just be like, "You didn't eat your food." Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I'll be, look at you before yes, you Daddy. do all that. <laughs> before you do all that, I'm gonna make I would I would dim the lights too, just to make yourself, <laughs> just to make yourself look a little more fucking crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't play Kiss by a Rose by Seal in the background. I do more of a Lamb of God so type shit. When you live with someone for long enough, you start to realize like when they're full. Like you just start yeah, to no, notice no, things. No, no. So it's like there's like a thing where she like she like starts to like huff out. Yeah. I already know. I already know. For me, that's the okay to put my hand oh, out and grab man. her plate and eat, and eat her the rest of her food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but I, I I like I like that. Or like I don't know about you. you. Your girl doesn't eat that much, Jack. Right? She'll eat. Bro, we're foodies, man. Yeah, eat. she eats. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, she just knows. I know. To put it in I know. I too, know. If she... I order six shrimp cocktail for appetizer, that she'll eat get. maybe one. Yeah, and I'm like, yes, I get five. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm up. saying. So do you? Does she have a cue where you know, like, sh- just give me that plate? You no. know, is there, so you don't know I just, I, I know when she's done and I know when okay, she's not right. taking it. So yeah. I just go ahead. I'm like, Ew. so, so like, how do you, you know? know? How do you know though? It's, I don't know. Something has to be done. Years, like, a year of knowing her. So I think we're just on such a way of eating because like I cook and everyone eats and it's very scheduled. Like, you know, we generally start to eat when we're hungry. And I don't make portions that leave people peeling over. So if there's leftovers, it's right in the fridge. And then, you know, the next day we eat it again. So it's not really a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. My fiance makes chicken cutlets and uh, some people can't eat leftovers. I'm not trying to bring uh, back one of those episodes, but chicken cutlets are the best leftovers. Yeah, but they are. But I listen, if I cook and it's there tomorrow, I'll fucking eat it. Some people no, they get all in the fridge. I'm on that shit. I'm not a big fish person. (laughs) But I can't see you eating leftover fish. Like, oh, hey, leftover this is fish? leftover salmon. Fuck like, that. I don't know. It's it warming up. Like uh, I said, remember, you Mike? The, you get the little pieces, Key is the low strips. flame. Key is low flame. <laughs> correct. Correct. Yeah. Low flame. Flame is key. <laughs> flame is remember key. Remember that. Flame is key. Woo, oh, what and, do we got? What do we? Oh, 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 we're almost in two hours over <laughs> here. I like it. Yeah. I was saying, Vic. Vic said something about We're gonna end uh, it soon, though. chicken cutlets. Best leftovers. You got you to gotta add the fucking the cheese on it. Yeah. And the milk. The milk? milk. What the Whoa, 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 whoa. One second, dick face. All right. You didn't all let right. me finish. You got eggs? Because you got to dip the fucking chicken first. You got eggs. Then you got to add the fucking cheese. And then just a drop of milk. And then you oh, so when it, you're making and then bread it. Oh, so when oh, you're making it. You guys it. don't know. I, I, I thought, thought see, it was You guys don't fucking know. Okay. That's what it is. You. What are you screaming at? No, I, but I you thought, don't, you I don't thought you were talking about when you eat I thought, leftover yeah, chicken Yeah, when you're you warming up your leftovers. No, nah, I'm not talking about leftovers. Dick faces. <laughs> well, jerk off, if you're paying attention to the headset that's on your fucking yeah, set in the $400 system I prepared for you, we're talking about fucking leftovers. Yeah, but I understand you're talking about leftovers. But I'm talking about how to fucking make Chicken cutlets the right way. How to make we're chicken. Not talking oh, about that. everybody go on YouTube and, and just type in how to make chicken. And I'll tell you how to nuggets. make great chicken cutlets. You fucking get the chicken cutlet and you fucking give it a little beat. You Jack, make it big. Jack, go look up how to make chicken like nuggets. You, like you, you beat, beat it, it with the like egg. You beat your Is meat. that the one with the video where the guys go crazy beating up a turkey? <laughs> half <laughs> bread crumb yeah. uh, and half fucking over it. Planko <laughs> Japanese so bread crumb. And that's... Planko? That's, no, you can't. Uh, cinnamon's good. Half bread crumb and in. half... Uh, the Japanese bread oh, it's called Planko. Pa- Planko. Planko. And it's you mix Planko. it up and you fucking... That's how I do it's my chicken. It's not Planko. Is that how you it's beat called... the meat? Listen, I watch a lot of fucking... Uh, what's that show? Uh, the Price is Right. <laughs> Listen, you gotta they add play grated cheese. Casting couch. You gotta add grated cheese. <laughs> the bread... The, the, <laughs> the bread crumbs already seasoned, all right? No, you gotta... Emerald nah, Magassi over there. cinnamon you gotta, you gotta fucking... Down. You gotta put a twist. Drink your water. Open up that water. Little Come twist. Let, let the mic. There's no the water over here. Yeah, you know what I hate though? Light. I hate deli chicken cutlets because they're always lighter. <laughs> yeah. 
Did you ever, anyone else notice, notice that? Yeah. Deli chicken I don't color. think I've ever eaten chicken cutlets that were outside of my house. No? You never got like a chicken sandwich from a, like a Cherry Valley? Vicks? I, mean, I don't believe it. Vicks? I don't know. I don't remember. It was a long, long time ago. Vicks? Yeah. Cherry Valley, Adam's Deli. Good times. What's, what's, what's going on? Your color chain is buzzing? Who's? It's, it's, it's time for you to go? No, uh, two hours. Oh, well. Uh, no college. Yeah, chain. we're at the two know. hour. That shit is. We this kid's got, got a family over about. here. Yeah, he's probably he's got to serve dinner. No, hold on. I saw the red light. Now it's showing the green light. I don't know. What red light? What green light? What are you talking about? On the about? neck. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah, he's funny. All right, twerp. Come on. Come Fucking on. guy. Come it's on, funny. You. What's on Mike's mind? Let's go. It's, it's buzzing. Yeah, Mike, what's on your mind? It's Mike, it, what's on your mind? It's because buzzing. You got a lot on your mind. Hold on. Tom Cruise wants to say hello. All right, what's on your mind? Damn it. What are you huffing the, and puffing about? The the word hate. The word hate. Go ahead. Explain. Hate. Hate is a, it's a big word. What are you, a preacher? Hate's what, a big what, word. What What do you guys hate, man? What do you hate? It's your mind. Start Damn, off. You know what I hate? I'll tell you what I hate. Go ahead, Vic. I hate the fact that some of the slang Ebonics words that we use when we were younger are... Make us old. Like, do people still say what's good? <laughs> okay, boomer. Uh, yeah. No, I'll no, do. they don't, and that makes me feel old. I hate that. Mm. Cause hate's a big word. Remember that. Or, or another one. People should say dead, <laughs> dead ass. That is. Yeah. Like, that's a New York one. I might. So yeah, that's a New York one. That's fucking. But, but do people still use that? I mean, if you're making fun of New Yorkers, yeah. I haven't heard it in a while. Exactly. I hate that. Yeah, but hate. I'm thinking, what do I hate? You know what I hate? I hate fucking social media. I really do. If there's one thing that fucking irks me, it's probably the social media. Social media is fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I get people use it for fucking talked about a good FC. way. But uh, <laughs> yeah. hate, are you I start getting ready laundry. over there? Yeah, I'm good. Before you make this another thirty minutes. I hate folding laundry. Yeah, I hate doing dishes. Mike, what do you hate? You brought it up and you're not giving us an example? Like he I hates said, ask, getting asked for money. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to splitting the bill or the drink. I don't even want to get into that. Hurry up. Let's go. Anyway. Yeah. Hate's a big word. Yeah, we got that for the fourth time. Yeah. But I really, really, really don't like you. Fucking, what do you hate? What, when, when you're eating a great meal, it could be mom, I made it for you. You made it for yourself or whatever. It comes from the restaurant. And there's a fucking hair oh. on your fucking food. <laughs> Damn, man, oh, man. I fucking hate that shit. You hate it? Can't stand it, dude. Do you continue? Dude, I want to give it back. Nah. Do you? Hair. I, I wipe yeah. it off. No, oh, no, hair, it fucking disgusts me. Hair man. No, me yeah, hair no but you, you got to understand. Hold on one second before you talk. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not, it's I'm the not fucking motor mouth you. over here. I'm not disagreeing with you. Take it easy. Take it easy. Anyway, fucking the oils. Like, you could just see the shine. Ugh. Yeah, it just gross. fucking yeah, disgusts yeah, me, disgusting. man. Crinkly. Fucking. Ah, it could be any type of hair. It's disgusting. Where did you ever had hair in your thing? You ever went out? What do you mean I ever went out? Yeah. When you ever went and out, give fucking, us a, an yeah. example. Cocksucker. Yeah. Fucking... Going out to restaurants. I mean, don't put the restaurant on the spot, but what happened? What did you order? You got to build an image here. We we don't have a TV program. We're radio. You got to build an image for these people out here. Okay. Um, Fucking. (laughs) Don't mention the place, but what did you order? What did you order? Cock meat? What did you order? A cock sandwich? Yeah, I had one of those. Even if it was a cock sandwich. Oh, the the sushi. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hello. (laughs) I fucking hate being ignored no, in group texts. Let me tell you what. Yeah, Sorry, just, finish, finish. just fucking, uh, I don't know, fucking whatever. Fucking oh, boy. chicken cutlets, mashed potatoes, salad. Fucking, you're eating and yeah, there's a. So you're halfway through hair. your meal, starving. You see a little piece of hair. It could be halfway. It could be not halfway. You could fucking know right. what do you right do? away. You're halfway. You what do you well, do? Once you see it, that's it. 
You're not hungry. Okay. No, so what I do you don't do? want it. No, you don't more. want it, but, but you're I'm, still hungry. I don't uh, want that. Yeah, I'm still fucking hungry. Uh, but I'm gonna fucking. So I don't you don't know. cut out that little piece. No, throw it out? no way. You're gonna either order no way. a new thing at the restaurant. I tell, or? yeah, if I'm in a restaurant, I'll be like, yo. <clears throat> what I'm happens not, if it happens not, to be your hair? Hold on, you gotta understand. The I'm, guy. How about this? The girl serving you has beautiful platinum blonde hair. You're sitting down with either your friend or your or your or girl. She has red hair. And now brown fucking, I mean, let's say all the chefs had white hair or no hair, and now you get brown hair on your dish. What are you, are you doing? Now you're talking are crazy. Are you fucking accusing yourself? Now you're right, talking look, crazy. Look, 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 look. I, got, I got one. But I'm just. Uh, listen up, listen up, Mike. Right. Mikey. Mm. Jack, you're in the closet. Mikey. Yeah, I know. Mikey. Right, so. <laughs> Go ahead. Listen. You're at the restaurant. You order a you order you order a meal. You notice the waitress is absolutely gorgeous, right? You're you're ten out of ten in your mind, right? She takes down your order and she takes your food, right? How's the, off how's the, the body the looking? Kitchen, but so got, on her way good. over, hold on, on her way over, she stops to think of you and all of a sudden starts to pleasure herself. And in pleasuring herself, a hair falls upon your food. Do you complain about it? But I wouldn't know if it was her hair. If I'm no, but eating. I'm just exactly. So next time, instead of wondering if it's a bad hair, maybe it could be a good hair. So this way you don't <laughs> the whole yeah, fuck uh, It's a fucking good hair. It's primo in the fuck back. Uh, nah. Jerking off. <laughs> That's whose hair it really is. It would it would have to be in my house <laughs> order for that to go down. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It would have to be in my uh, house. I think it's happened to me in restaurants. I will tell the you waiter. You never get a hot That's waitress. Disgusting. That's very rare. Yeah. Honestly, Actually, that's I, the most rare. And then the chances of having them. And if you do get one, you know that, that that she's probably gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. Like, you order old fashioned, you get like a fucking whiskey sour or something. Like, it's just like, I don't know. Jack. Yeah, what's up? Uh oh. I guarantee you, he's not ready. He hasn't fucked up this show. It's the first time he hasn't fucked up. I guarantee he's gonna fuck up. Today in Jack Snows. No, 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 no. Right. I'm not gonna mess this up. Because <laughs> I wanted to talk about Jeffrey Epstein the entire you're time. You're already messing up, and I'm gonna tell you why. Why? I, I Your do. mouth is yeah. back on that fucking mic. Oh. <laughs> Didn't we get the windshield? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's <laughs> get, let, him, let him fucking suck it. Put a post it <laughs> on, on your computer that says back the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Right. So I've been trying to talk about Jeffrey Epstein this entire time, right? Okay. Uh, book came out June second, A Convenient Death. It was a book written by two journalist, uh, journalistic reporters, and uh, they basically got all a whole bunch of like so up uh, the pedophile. They got a whole bunch of news from the people he was hanging out from, like mm-hmm. a whole lot of testimony, and they put together this story. And if you go on Netflix, it's actually uh, a series on there. So in the book, they cover how Epstein said that Clinton admitted to having sex with Monica because she was the only girl in the White House during the 1995 government shutdown. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> He's not wrong for doing that. She wasn't that good looking either. Hey. But I'm just saying a book's out the only with like one in the White like House. that. So it's, it's, you got to kind of believe it. Sometimes fives look like eights. When that kind of shows you that he, while. that he has no power. It's not that. <laughs> yeah. If, if, I bet you if Vladimir Putin was alone wherever the if fuck If you he ever was, been deployed, he would have the fucking. And you ever been overseas for nine months? A five could easily look like an eight after yeah, four guess. months. Right. So anyway, yeah, Epstein yeah. had been fascinated by the Lewinsky scandal for years because he thought it w- she was too unattractive to sleep with. Um, that's in the book as well. So the uh, the pedophile claimed that the former president made the confession during 2002 trip to Africa, where they flew on Epstein's private jet with Kevin Spacey. Surprise, surprise. And this one hurt my heart, bro. It did. Chris Tucker. What? Chris Tucker. Really? Yeah, Chris Tucker. Man. All right. Before, we, have, we have to talk about this. Before we talk in about depth. this, <laughs> we will bring an episode. Yeah. Actually, let me get it let, out. Let, let's schedule this for next. next uh, those of you listening. If um, you want to be up to par in our episode, let me get the correct full name here. I want you to go ahead on YouTube. So I want you to go reminds- ahead and search The Fall of the Cabal, The Great Awakening. Cabal is K-A-B-A-L. They do take it down off YouTube, but they repost it up. Watch that before episode seven or eight, and you'll know exactly what we're talking about. It's the q 
um, you're gonna see a lot, a lot of shit. Yeah, it's a great show to like, watch. But every, I'm just saying, this was in the article. No, we definitely. This is. There's I'm a sorry. I, I don't speak no English. No. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'm getting. I'm gonna, let me go through. Uh, no, let me go no. through this last bullet point. Superman, no, no, oh, no, no. He's not here. No. Yeah, no. Mr. John, not here. No. I don't, I don't speak any English. <laughs> Jack, what else? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'll just skip that one. So yeah, for those that have been oh, also hiding under a rock, uh, NASA called off a space launch. Uh, written, oh, sorry, over the there was a lightning issue. Fake news. That, I'm kidding. Guys. No, 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 no. They canceled no, no. it, and then yeah, it was... uh, a couple of days later, they uh, they launched. And that's a whole new kudos. That, that should be a whole topic on its own as yeah, well. Kudos to Jeff. Um, we'll Elon we'll do Musk. some conspiracy theories episode. Kudos to Elon Musk, though he really did have a big achievement and win. Oh some yeah, events. Oh, no. yeah. So <laughs> and NASA too. NASA, you know, really kudos to America, really for putting astronauts back into space with our own back in space, man. Yeah, we haven't flown for about ten years on an American built spacecraft, so it's really a big win for us. We've been going through the Russians. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, okay, and also, I know, I know that this is a, a kind of a dated article, but it was, uh, it was a precursor to what's going on today, where uh, a white investment banker, Amy Cooper, was 41 at the time, was fired because she was uh, calling 911 hysterical about uh, an African man threatening her life. Is this the one that she was um, holding her dog, and while making the yeah, call, she's choking the shit? it around, bro. She was choking the shit out of that poor animal? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So the video is disturbing how racist it is, but and she deserves the that kind of mark on her record, like because she she came out and she was like, "My life is ruined." Like R. Kelly when he came out, was like, "Y'all killing me!" But it, it's, she just came out with this stupid apology. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can play that whole clip real quick. Hold on. Somebody say, yeah. <laughs> "Y'all kill him!" Dude, shut the but fuck up. Somebody sent me something on my phone and it said that I hog tied her. <laughs> I don't know how to hog tie people. What would I hog tie? <laughs> my kids are listening to this. Hog <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, It still scares the shit It's out crazy. Of he can't fucking read. Yeah. The man like, cannot uh, read. That shit scares Floyd the shit Money out of him. Yeah, Mayweather can't read so, either. Damn. They did 50 Cent bet uh, Mayweather money, like $50,000, yeah, yeah. if you could read one page out <laughs> yeah. of a Harry Potter book. Did you ever see the presentation? <laughs> and then when 50 Cent was making fun of him, a little stuttering the presentation because he was having a hard time reading the, the transcription. Yeah. And it was like, you know, the education level of like a two-year-old. Hey, the richest man <laughs> when it comes to sports. Yeah, but it's great. He was rich then. I don't know how. Yeah. No, he's he's got money, bro. Oh, of Mayweather course he got money. Bacon. So did Tyson. Where is he now? Put it this way. If Mayweather he's, right has now, he's Conor, getting ripped. He's going to well, get back in the ring. If well, Mayweather had money, Conor McGregor's yeah. money, he'd kill himself. But Tyson's actually making a weed. Um, what is it called? He's got a farm. Yeah, a weed pen. A weed something. He's doing something he's, with weed. Oh, he's so original. He's got a farm. Yeah, weed farm. Because it helps him. Pigeon weed. No, no, it's not he was a farm. A pigeon it's, a, it's, a, it's a resort. It's a do weed you know resort that also doubles as a farm. Do you know that somebody from our neighborhood raced pigeons with Mike Tyson? Do you know the name? Yeah, I do know the name. Can we say it? What? Tell me after the show. Tell me. After all right, the show. I'll tell you. But it's somebody we all know. Personally. We all know. We all know a person. There's a news article with them. I'm I'm gonna I'm That's gonna dope. give you the three names, and it's gonna be the three names I probably say never say the first letters. S. Nope. Uh, the Who's kid this? with the long hair. Is this Wheel of Fortune? Huh? Just give me the first. Uh, give okay. me the initials. What's his last name? Dandy. His first name started with what you just said. What? What? Ooh. What did you say? I said, "Was his last name Dandy?" Dandy, Jim Dandy. It sounds Jim, like Dandy. Jim Dandy. No, a kid we know. We hung oh. out with him. Uh, James? I'm fucking. I'm gonna say it. Go. It's fucking Danny Hedgel. Really? Yeah. It was. He was like 13 years old. He used to race pigeons with Tyson. Crazy. No. Fuck Do we have pictures? That sounds like a story no, I would hear. He from showed him. me the news article. There's a news article. He's in it. Crazy. He didn't edit it, Photoshop it. No, it was like a fucking. <laughs> it was like falling apart. But kudos to him. No, it's straight up something a story he would tell you. But, but my, my, anyway, the story is some more sloppy Joe. <laughs> nah. He used to race. I will. Mike Tyson. I will check it That's out. It's interesting because I know the That's kid. Dope. He never mentioned that. Yeah. Really? Um, Jack, what else is on the news? Jack, what else is on the news? 
Besides okay, this so that little precursor. Mouth. Oh, last bullet on that. Uh, this is actually the best part. It really warmed my heart. Oh. Um, after the video came out and the whole world what fucking we even shamed talking her for what right she was now. doing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. That's the, right, the white shit. Right. Amy what? Amy Cooper. Cooper. God damn so Amy, Amy Cooper. Cooper had, uh, she got fired. But this chick was making 170 k a year as head of an insurance investment solutions at Franklin Templeton. And she it's lost it all? Whatever company. Wait, head? Huh? She lost it all? She lost every. No one's oh, going to hire her. I love it. She's going to have to walk around the streets I like the people bad that guy don't in mind their bastard. business and they lose everything. Next time, just yeah. keep it fucking moving. Keep it walking. Keep it going. <sighs> I've seen that. No, video. but I'm telling you, she's going to walk around with that bad mark on her. Good. It's not going to be good. 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 No, I'm, I, I, I agree. So a uh, little bit more bad news. But again, if you've been living under a rock, this isn't. This is going to be a shock, but if you're everyone else... Well, I think a lot of people live Everyone in knows. This is global, what you're about to say. I already yeah. know it. I feel it. Yeah. George Perry Floyd Jr., a black man who was killed by police during an arrest in Minneapolis, Minnesota on May 25th, 2020. So the, the protests in response to both Floyd's death and more broadly to the police violence against black people quickly spread, and uh, it's across the United States and internationally. So um, a little bit about... Uh, Mr. George Floyd Jr. He grew up in Houston, Texas. He played football and basketball, and uh, he's a blue collar worker. Uh, got into some trouble, and uh, yeah, and then, then was he a porn star? Little... I think he was a porn no, star. Yeah, I saw, yeah, no, I he, saw was a he was a porn star. star. No, I didn't see the videos, but I saw a pit, uh, I mean, legit articles. porn star or home video. No, porn no, I saw star. articles that he was a porn star. I mean, you know, I can believe it. Yeah. But let me tell you something. It's unfortunate. Well, it says that oh, oh, it says that he was a contributor to the development of the Houston's hip hop scene and a mentor who was active in his religious community. But he was also arrested for drug possession and other offenses in 2009. Regardless uh, what he deal. was arrested for, the way he went out is ridiculous. Uh, Absolutely. I hope the cop definitely gets his time because actually you mentioned who mentioned something about going to Howie's house for the pool. Yeah, I yeah. want my backyard to look like how. Yeah, you yeah. wanted your backyard to look like this, but I don't know. You remember the day where you know the little um. Trust me, there's a meaning to this where I'm getting at. I'm, I, I I'm thinking about it. As Would we you talk. like me to continue and then you'll come back? To no, it? no, no, no. I have it. I just need you to shut the fuck up. No, I'm kidding. You know the you know the little cart you buy like a little kid. It's like um the red it's a radio car. flyer radio flyer. No, it's a car. It's got the it's it's a red bottom with the yellow top. Yellow top, yeah. Okay, remember yeah, yeah. that the Fisher Price thing. Yeah, I remember. I said, "Hey, let's build a ramp. My fat ass is gonna go in there, and I want you guys to push me off the ramp into the pool." <laughs> I yep. think you were there because that was the day I think yeah. I um split my head open for some other shit. We'll sp- we'll speak Somebody about. Somebody hit you with their elbow. So I think, I think it was, it was you and James. Yeah, James was there. Pushed me in this the. The, the little fucking car o- off the ramp into the pool. Let me tell you something. When I got into that pool, the fucking car flipped and I couldn't open it. For about four to five seconds, I thought I was going to die. I'm, I'm not even playing around with you. I was like, holy shit, how am I going to get out? All of a sudden, the door opened. I blurged out and I got up on the pool. Thank God it was six feet tall because, you know, I could swim up today. It was a little quick. But let me tell you something. It wasn't. It never got below that four to five seconds being underwater, thinking I was gonna die, is the craziest shit. Now this fucking stupid piece of shit cop, um, put his knee on someone's neck. Eight minutes, like basically a forty f- eight yeah, minutes that's... and forty six seconds. Imagine that. I thought I was gonna die in those four <laughs> seconds. Imagine someone kneeling over your knee for eight minutes and forty six seconds. Over your neck with their knee. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's it's insane. That's what I meant. But but the crazy thing is is that that <laughs> maneuver that they teach because I, I had to learn it when I was in the navy. You're not supposed to put weight on that knee. You're supposed to put weight on the knee that's over their back, like on their back and belly. Mm-hmm. That's where all the weight's supposed to be. The the so that just knee that was like on a, his neck is like supposed to be holder. in the area of his neck to protect the cop Classified from his knee. But he's an asshole. Listen, dicks. You got the guy handcuffed on his belly. The fuck you putting the knee on the neck? No one knows. Listen, you, no don't one need it. No. you don't need Listen, to do that shit. I get it. But at the same time, no one knows what happened. Yeah. Supposedly, on, they knew nobody, each, nobody knows the full supposedly picture. they knew each other. They worked with each other. Maybe something. Yeah, they did. He had something against this guy. Maybe he did it. Who knows the real story? Just so let's, it's, let's, the, the result. The actuality is 
Yeah, unfortunately, somebody lost their life. They lost their life. They shouldn't have went out like that, especially in that matter. But at the same time, because someone does something wrong that wears that uniform, because I support my military, I support my first responders, I support everyone, you shouldn't be looking at every cop or any fucking law enforcement or any type of military person. Military, we're all just people, man. Yeah, because at the end of the day, we're all all people, people. and that's what it is. It's just, it's a tragedy what happened. And justice will so, be served. And that's I'm so just this ties into the first thing that we were talking about, however, and we're going to get into it in the next episode with what uh, the sign language with COVID. And, yeah, how they how I mean, I'm not going to try to make this sound like it was a setup. I don't think it was a setup. I think it actually, you know, it it, it, it happened in a way that wasn't. We'll bring it up another time. But what I'm saying is it happened also at the same time that that book about Epstein came out. And also the same time that Hillary Clinton was so going to court. You think they're Wait. false flags? Listen, that's what they're. That's what they're called. They're false, false flags. I don't false think flags. that was. It was concerted that way, though. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think the George Floyd, you know, tragedy was really correlated to the political element of it. I think it's giving right. too much credit to those cops and and just that entire situation. But a hundred percent. That's you know, there's a difference in correlation and causation right right exactly yeah so i think that I, and and this actually makes me feel even worse about this the situation that happened is that i feel like a lot of people are running on this uh like are, are putting a lot of focus on this which is good but and it's not a but but there's also people that are getting away with raping young girls on an island and they're just gonna get away with it they're like, not gonna get. You know what I mean? They're not gonna get no, away with yeah. it. Whatever is told in the dark comes to light. I think that was from an artist. I, hope. I don't have their name. I'm not going to research their name. That's from a. That's from well, a song. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like if a tree falls down, does it make a forest, sound? Yes. Does it make a sound? Yes. It's just you know. It's, you know how I figure that out? If you're there, hear it. I wasn't there, but I left my phone there, and when the tree fell, I went back and I heard yeah, the motherfucker yeah. fell. We're almost done there, kid. Let's not smoke in the studio, all right there, Kramer? Jack, anything Uh else? No, that was the last article. I do want to tell everybody, uh, enjoy your week coming. Uh, Stay safe. Stay social distancing. Wear your mask. Stay stay happy. Ah, shut up, you liberal. (laughs) You fucking fool you. Shh. Nah, I'm kidding. Nah, that's, that's a great great advice. That's that's not that's not being a liberal. That's just nah, nah, I'm kidding, that's just a John. parent with kids who's uh yeah. I love you doing I great you. things. He's from listen, California. I don't care if they wear listen, 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 wear you. your fucking mask. I just want to say one thing. Left wing, you. right wing, we're still a wing bird. on the same bird. Yep. And don't you don't have to wear your mask no more. COVID is is fake. It's been done. What? Fake news. It's fake. Guys. Is it really? Get fake the fuck news. Out of here, COVID. Oh, you guys gotta you guys gonna Everybody have to convince with, me on that. Next time. I'm next not time. convincing nobody. Listen. Listen, I got asthma. Next time. I've been out and about I've since been, day one. I've been out and about too. Yeah, I do wear my mask when I go to 7 Eleven, get a cigarette, or I get a coffee, I get it. But the majority of the time I'm not wearing a mask. Listen, Don't have no. it. Negative on all my tests. I'm good. You're hey. out and about. You're out and about. Get the fuck out of here. You see people. I see nobody. I hang out with you, right? So basically, I'm exposed to the same people that you're exposed to. Right. I'm fine. I have asthma. I'm fine. So you good, Jack? Fake news. Yeah, Mike, I'm good. Mike, anything you got to say for the better of the group, for the people listening? Listen, I love you all. Remember all right. that. All right. Love you too, Mike. You sound like a hippie from the 60s. Fuck and also, all. if Victor, if fake news. Fake news? Fake news. You gotta watch out for the fake news. No, I'm good. I think next, 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 next episode is gonna be. All right, good. that was episode six. Jam. It's been three weeks. It's well, only, listen, it's hey, it's only six. Wait another three. Listen, we got a quarantine. We made it. iHeartRadio after fucking three months accepted us. Who gives a fuck about them? But whatever, we're on there. If you, hey, hey, hey. If you prefer yeah. iHeartRadio. <laughs> yeah. Um, so follow us, Instagram, unfollow Vic. You got the website. Uh, everything's in the works. Check us out. This has been episode six. I thank you all for listening. Until next time. Eee!